man. The doors are open. The grotto is open. We haven't seen this view in <laughs> over a year. I'm so happy to be behind this bar in the grotto, ready to go for everybody tonight. I feel very exposed. Yeah, very exposed. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome to 3 I am your host, Otto, coming to you live and direct from the grotto. Yeah, baby. Oh, I'm so happy to be Let's here go. tonight, man. This is straight fire. Here we go. Dave's in the house. Here we go, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> basement we've got guests coming in all night we've got uncle frank the bouncer man in the door you never know what short box birdie's gonna come off yes, he does so i mean if i am isaac the bartender you are captain stubing I'm captain stubing you, captain you look stubing. more like captain stubing than no, I'm, I'm isaac the bartender i'm the bartender man that's the whole reason i became the bartender right i guess, I guess i'm basically in charge right? right right who wants to be julie the tour guide is that you dave on, everybody I guess I guess it is. So, and you know what? That means Uncle Frank in the studio audience has to be gopher. Gopher, Remember gopher? Yeah. I am the gopher. That's right. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So we have Uncle Frank in the studio audience. We've got, oh, you're not tonight, Pat. So you say. And if you show up in 20 minutes, yeah. you know where the back door is to the grotto. So <laughs> we've got lots of people who are going to come in tonight. We've got Barry Gary's auction going on. We've got a lot of things going on. The selfie stick is not securely taped to the chair, Dave. No. So that's it. But guys. Before we get started, before we introduce the live chat, I want to dedicate this show, their grand reopening of the grotto, to one person. And that person is Austin from Alaska. You guys all know he's Ages Comics of Alaska's number one fan, the biggest Deadpool fan we know. He's pushing through some things right now at Austin. Here at Three Men in the Basement, we dedicate this show. Everything that we're going to talk about tonight is for you getting better, buddy. So get well, better. Get well soon, buddy. Yep. On behalf of Three Men in the Basement, yeah. stay strong. Use those mutant abilities, man. Kick that ass. And when we come to Alaska, I can't wait to meet you. Yeah, so the uh, the the guys over at Aegis need you, man. Your yes. Show just yep. ain't the same without you. Absolutely right. So very excited for that. So Austin, get better, man. So before we get started, who do we got in the chat, Raj? Can you see? Oh that? my God, we gotta. You want me to go to the chat? Yeah, go All to right. the chat. <laughs> <clears throat> I saw the brother. I saw Sith Lordly. I saw Randy Sloan. Who the hell is Mr. Walkers? Mr. Walkers. Uh, Wookie Fodder 80, Ricky Camacho, Karate Chop, Michael the Beast Benston, Victoria Pajak, Matthew Howard, Gene Malo, T. Ravis, Gene Mo, Gene. Michael Raphael. No, oh, keep your eyes yourself. Just sorry. Copy 801, down. Sith Lordly. We have Short Box Bernie. Soon to be here. Soon to be here. On his way <laughs> now that we called him out. Uh, let me see. We had Michael Raphael. We have Lenny Cerna all the way from Florida. What is up, buddy? Good. Tim O is O face. Uh, let me Show see. Show my old face. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Uncanny X Dan. Monster Warrior. We have Man from Beantown. Benny Beans. In the house. Benny Beans. Them beans on a Benny. The brother, Dave Levesque, Paul PC, 1974, Geek Aficionado. What's up, brother? Uh, I think I caught up. So if I awesome. missed your unknown comic guy. So if we missed you, sorry, keep it up in the chat. We'll catch it between Dave and I and and uh, Isaac. Will, or not Isaac. Go uh, for it. Gopher. We'll, 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 we'll get you. So, uh, our, our tour guy, our Julie, tour, yeah. running the show. Julie, so, Julie was hot Julie, for yeah. a time. Well, that's right. So Isaac was a great bartender, too. Isaac I mean, don't take that the wrong way, Dave. I mean, Listen, not hey. Not looking, but not it's all good. Listen. <laughs> order order <laughs> Bernie and Uber. <laughs> yeah. um, so, we have a lot of things that we want to get talk, talking about, but there's a few things for housekeeping rules. As you guys know, Very Gary's auction is going on. So We, we happen actually, to be watching it. Have, <laughs> yes, we're watching it right now. So, we're going to go back and forth. So, this is in real time. But thank you very much for spending your Friday night with us. It means the world to us. A year has been a long time since we have had the light set up. And I am just absolutely fired up and enamored to be here tonight. So uh, just so you guys know, we still have our 2,500 subscriber giveaway. I think we're 10 subs away. And then we get to give away some really cool all, stuff. All okay? sorts of good stuff, guys. Yes. Get in there. If you're so, not subscribed, get on it. Right. And even if you're catching this on a rewind, head over to the video that Dave just showed. Comment. I'm sorry. In the comments, hashtag 3MIB. Tell us one or, things, one or two things you like about the show. Maybe something you don't like about the show. Maybe right. something that you want to see us do. Yeah, right. Trust us. We have thick skin. We can handle it. Tell us what you guys want to see. And we actually do read the comments. Okay. So that's something that's very important. Also, we have a new Three Men in the Basement Instagram page that all three of us monitor. Okay. And as part of that, 
we ordered some new shirts from the silk screener to the stars. We happen okay. to be displaying those shirts right now. Right, just so you guys right. see what's going on. Uncle Frank's got one on, and uh, thanks to the yeah. brother. Uh, every, everybody oh. else has got one on. Everybody oh, else has got on. one there on. There it is. There we go. That's what we're doing. We're doing, uh, yeah, put that back up, Dave. Yeah. yeah. Um, the uh, $25 ship, we got six colors to choose from. This happens to be two. Well, Frank's got one on. We got uh, uh, just... D DM any one of us or the uh, three men in the basement. Yeah, preferably on that Instagram page. Yeah, and then you know we're gonna do we're gonna run this probably for like another week. So don't wait because if we put our order in and we start this production, we collect money and start production, then you want one. It's gonna be a lot harder because you can't just print out one shirt every every week or so for everybody. So if you want yep. a shirt, please message us immediately so we can get the list going. Get the shirt started and uh, get these out because these are fire. I like them. Yeah, these like are nice shirts. We like the logo. No, no, came, out came out good. So uh, I do want to thank everybody on Instagram who shared our posts on your Instagram stories. So many people did it. I was like, I must have, I must have got tagged a dozen times over. So yeah. thank you very much um, to all those people who did that. Michael the Beast Benson, uh, Hip Hops and Me, and uh, thank you very much for doing that. And everybody else who did it, Barry Gary, the defects, all you guys. So really, really cool. So Master Warrior, I have not. And that was another thing I wanted to bring up. If I owe you something, whether it's a giveaway or a T-shirt, Master Warrior, I have your T-shirt. It's sitting over there. I just want to know who it was. I will send that out to you. If I owe anybody anything except $1,000. <laughs> so Instagram, hit me up on Instagram, and I'm going to get that stuff out to you. It's one of my faults. So we're going to do that. Um, we also have something that's very near and dear to Roger, something very important to me, something very important to Uncle Frank, and it's very important to the defects. So I'm going to turn it over to you guys, and you guys can elaborate a little bit more on this. All right. So if anybody watched the defect show last week, they talked about a charity that Guy Forge is involved with called Pauly Strong. And the concept behind that is um, they you donate money or you, buy, and you, or you go on Amazon and you buy these Lego sets. And – you know, children that pediatric pediatric can't with pediatric cancer at the Sloan Kettery Hospital, you can't share toys. So newly wrapped, brand new Lego sets are priceless. At a I place love like Legos. That. So and and you think about these kids; they're in the hospital, and to donate these Lego sets and then bring them to these kids, uh, it's I can only imagine what their faces look like. And for those of you who know me, for the last twelve years, I donate extreme amount of my time to the cancer community whether it's with the cancer action network as the head volunteer in connecticut or the live strong foundation i lost a father-in-law i lost my sister my father's fighting cancer right now i lost my it's, mother ever lost his mother it's and everybody has a story and just think about the good you can do for a child who's fighting cancer doesn't understand why it's happening to them and for a moment, they get to fit this new Lego set like it's Christmas. They open it up, they play with it, and they forget about what's happening to them at that moment. So the concept is I've got a bunch of books donated. Um, Dave's going to throw up the picture of the books that I have so far. Um, mm -hmm. Eventually, um, yeah, so there's the, there's the, the uh, that's the idea. It's $10 spots, straight fill. So if you tell us, once it goes live, the post will be on my Instagram page. You're going to just say how many spots you want. And we'll fill it in as we go. We're going to determine the amount of time. It might be a week, might be two weeks. However many tickets we can sell in that amount of time is what we do. And then it'll be just like any other Instagram raffle. It'll be, I'll put a private chat, pay now. All that money will go to one spot as soon as it's live. I'll run it live. We'll probably do it like in a live show. Yep, absolutely. Do it through random, randomized, roll the dice and all that. First place gets choice. Second place gets next choice and on and on until all the prizes are gone. And you see the, the graphic up now. Those are the books that we have as of yes yesterday. Holy cow. Um, and I've got already uh, twice that since then. Uh, right. People have reached out to me, yep. uh, donated. I've got pictures of some of those. So we've, we're pro I'm, I'm guessing we're going to have somewhere probably 10 to 15 to 20 prizes. So people will be able to win for 10 bucks. Right. You know, what, what do you got to lose? And 100% of all that money, because I'm going to pay for shipping these books out. So 100% of the money made is going to go to Folly Strong, and we're going to donate that money, and you're going to have a ton of kids at the Pediatric Cancer Ward at Sloan Kettering. We're going to get brand new Lego sets because of the generosity of the Instagram community. Right. And also, just so you guys know, I have got a 25-book CGC submission. Something that I have tonight is going to get donated. Uncle Frank, you got some stuff you want to donate? 
Yeah, he already did. It's in the picture, actually. It's in the picture, it's in the picture yeah. already? Show them anyway. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Show the real time. The ones that Frank. All right. And the co-worker Do donated the uh, 9.8 Venom Lethal Protector. Um, Erod donated the, um, the Ghost Rider. Um, Emerald Knight donated the Wolverine and the X-23. And then the Spider-Man and the New Mutants. There you go. Yeah. Thank you very much. I, right, I, I tell you, just look and examining that. It's an older label, but Frank, show it there. Show, show. Yeah, close to the camera. Go ahead, Frank. Right. Sorry about the glare. If there's any glare here, but tilt it back. I, I think there's some pressable defects here. Woo! There is really there okay, there there perfect. Defects. Nice, nice yeah. plug. I saw something on the back. I mean, crack yeah. and press. You never know. Never know. As soon you know. as I touch it, you can tell how much cheaper they were back then. Yes. Yeah. Oh, definitely. This is definitely not. Oh, good. look at Shortbox Bernie. Look at that. I will donate a raw Venom three first print. Jesus, oh, Bernie's yeah. sitting right now. Very generous of you, Bernie. Thank you very much. That's awesome, I'll dude. Over now and bring it. <laughs> uh, Frank, Russ. thank you very much, Uncle You're Frank. Welcome. Very you generous to you, <laughs> Raj. Mon Monster uh, Warriors. Uh, Monster Warrior is asking if he could send you an AOK -okay of Le uh, Legos to you. Okay. Uh, no, that won't here's be helpful why. Here's why. They won't accept it from me. It's got to come, I believe, the way they deliver it and the way they get sanitized and all that before it can get to the kids. So yep. as part of this auction, there will also be, if somebody says, you know what, I don't want to be part of the auction, but I want to donate, there will be a link to the Amazon account that you can buy the Legos where they will deliver them to the children. Correct. Awesome. Okay. So, oh, yeah. when that, cool. so when the whole post comes out on Instagram and you see the original post, which is because I'm going to make sure that the one post that you're that has everybody's name is going to say original post on top, there will be a website that you can go to if you decide you just want to donate. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yes, that's very important. This is very, very true to Roger and all of us. Uh, Roger, since I've known him, which has been almost 15 years now, he's always been involved in some type of cancer Um benefits where it's live strong and everything like that so this is going to be fantastic the defects are helping us with it it's just going to be really really cool so dude, we got somebody knocking at the door right now come on somebody wants to come into the grotto you bring oh, them oh in oh my god all the way from vancouver oh, oh, yeah. here. Vancouver it's like 8 a.m there uh, <laughs> it's actually 5 21. Uh, it's, it's early it is, there yeah. huh well, it's well, early well, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Dude, welcome, welcome kid, to though. the grotto, man. I'm so happy you're I, here to hang out with us. I've never been in the actual grotto. I guess technically I still haven't, but I feel like I'm there right now. It's, no, thank it's you, how I met you guys. Cheers to you, my friend. And cheers mm. to everybody enjoying cheers. their libations tonight yeah. and enjoying their Friday night. And this has been a year coming, and it's just been just been very exciting. Man. I, I was driving to work at 7 o'clock this morning. I don't know if you saw my live story. I almost got into an accident as I was talking into the ca camera and saying, guys i'm fired up i want you all to be here and then you know work today was fine and then i hit the gym with my buddy and he's like what do you got going on tonight i'm like dude we are reopening the grotto man and you know after seeing 600, <laughs> after seeing 600 restaurants in connecticut alone shut down to think that the bar is still open and we have done our due diligence to fight covid and to have dave come in with us and chris and i sent some links out to some other people so if i sent those links out guys please come in it's just going to be a lot of fun um got a ton of stuff to do yeah we got a ton of stuff to do so uh just really really cool but dude we had the justice league let's talk a little oh, bit about it oh yeah and we've got four hours of it i mean it's, it's a week right so there's we don't have to worry about spoilers it's no, no. It's they put a, if you haven't they, seen it now shame on you yeah yes. they just put out the second version of the same movie now it's in black and white which i'm definitely going back to watch yeah, <laughs> oh yeah for sure they put out it, justice league in black and white yeah, yeah. No, make it more arty. I'm in. Really? I am in. No way. Oh my god. Um, so let me tell you what I thought. Well, I'll, I'll start with me and we'll go kind of around the horn. I absolutely loved it. I've watched it twice. Did I watch it all at once the first time? No, of course not. I fall asleep, but I probably <laughs> I definitely watched it twice. I thought it was great. Um, I thought the dark side stuff I could have liked to see a little bit more. Um I like the interaction more. There was some fantastic lines in it. Uh, again, I think Wonder Woman steals the show. But this time, I really liked Batman a lot more. Like, I, I do appreciate this Batman. I do appreciate Ben Affleck as Batman, uh, and just my own opinion. But I did like it more. My two favorite, my favorite line of the whole movie was at the end when Clark and Bruce were at the Kent farm. And Bruce said to him, or Clark said to him, he goes, how did you get the farm back from the bank? 
and deadpan, like a true millionaire would say, I just bought the bank. <laughs> what? It wasn't well, I don't remember one, that, yeah. but it was so much better in the second one. I was going to say, I thought like, I missed something no, in that was, scene. I'm like, no, 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 yeah. no. It was just one of those things that I yeah. thought was so much better. And then my second favorite, well, between both movies, a highlight to me is when Wonder Woman fought Steppenwolf, right? Yeah. Their battles to me were absolutely epic. And then at the end, to see them fighting, Superman gives them the super punch, and Wonder Woman jumps up, throws the sword down, it, just phenomenal, phenomenal. So I'd like to see what everybody thinks in the chat about that. You know, again, my own personal opinion, but I absolutely loved it. Raj, what about you? Yes, I also loved it. It did not seem like I watched that for four hours. I did not fall asleep. I was intrigued from beginning <laughs> to end. I loved the things that they decided to remove that were ridiculous, like the, you know, do you bleed and, and you know, the world needs you, they don't need you scene. Uh, I loved that Batman wasn't alone with wanting to bring Superman back to life this time, that they were actual team working together uh, instead of just Batman saying, we need to do this and, and, and flash crying about being scared and, you know, and, and Wonder Woman having second thoughts as to why she hasn't been more of a face in society kind of thing. The fact that they were an actual team right away, let's work together. We agree. This is what we need to do, even though we think it kind of sucks. Uh, I love that aspect of it. Yeah, the battle scenes were better. Dark Side was phenomenal. Uh, a lot of the stuff made a hell of a lot more sense, even for one of the time, you know, the battles and the, t and the times that he went and got and stole the the boxes. You know, like he was literally cutting some of the Amazons in half. Like that was yeah, that, that was that was rough. you know that was kind of some of the stuff that they didn't go with in the first scene. I just think that they realized what was. I don't know if they thought it would be humor it was actually stupid and was removed. And then some of the badass shit that they used to the, the battle with her and Stephen Wolf is phenomenal, and I, definitely better than the original. And I could watch that. I, I did not once start to fall asleep. I watched mm -hmm. that. It was, it, you know, it was. If you'd have told me, if, if you never told me how long that movie was, and then told me it was four hours after, I probably would. Really? You stay awake during movies. Though. Yes, I do. Like, as soon as I'm engaged like, in the movie, yes, <clears throat> I don't fall asleep. Not me. I don't fall asleep. Yeah, well, I mean, it was five p.m. <laughs> 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 Frank, what'd you think? You want to come up and tell everybody? I thought, I thought it was all right. Here, here comes Gopher, the, go. aka the bouncer. Okay, I love, I love how they gave the Amazons their, their due. Yes, right? right. And the Amazons look great, even though we know most of them died in the fight. Right. But they look like real warriors. Yeah. Um, yes. the, 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 the actors they used, they were beefed up a little more, yes. as you would think an Amazon should look like. Of course. Sure. Okay. Smoking and, hot. Yeah, yeah 100%. Ah, and they'll oh, kick your cool. ass. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I'm in complete agreement. They, you, you got rid of that dumb line, like, to save one, Barry. You know yeah, what I mean? Right, right. You know, they, just, they just got rid of that. So, yeah. so right. I enjoyed it. And 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 the barometer I use is if Mrs. If it's Mrs. Feliciano likes it. Yes. If she, and she loved it. She did. She yeah. did. She okay, did. good, good. All good. right, that's, like that's that. when I know a movie's good. All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Let me, let me run back to me, and we'll start this. CGC rating, I would give this 9.4. Raj? Yeah, not, I love, you know, I love Justice League, so 9-6 nine, six, nine, six. SS. Okay, oh, really? Signature, Signature series? series? Okay, Frank? I, I, I'm, I'm a DC guy. Yeah. I mean, I'm still buying all the Batman stuff. You really are. So, yeah, 9-6. Nine, 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 six. Nine, nine, six. Okay, right on. Okay, so let's turn it over to our to our first guest here in the grotto, Agent BCJ. Chris, <laughs> thoughts about it? What do you think about it? I, I had a great circumstance. I had been working so much lately, as you guys know. And I hadn't had a chance to even sit down for two hours with my wife, let alone watch a four hour movie. And so right. we we watched it. We like we, we planned it. We're going to sit down. We're going to it was like we we're like having a date. And uh, yeah, we my like wife that. loves it. Yeah, it's fun. Right. And and uh, and we watched it and somehow drank three bottles of wine during the course of it yeah. and uh, made the movie a lot better. Uh, but yeah. it was yeah. uh, it was it was uh, I liked a lot. I um, I, I love that. If you watch the original Justice League, one of the best drinking games you could ever do is watch it. And every time you see a bloated Ben Affleck, take a drink and uh, you won't make it through the whole show. Yeah, because they shot it in two sequences where he's like totally ripped like he is in this Snyder cut. And then yeah. when they reshot it with Joss Whedon, he's like got this bloated face like you know, he got out the night before. Or something like that. I did notice it. That's funny that you said yeah, that. That's pretty funny. But anyway. Back to the actual movie. I thought it was great. I really enjoyed it. The length, I didn't notice it at all. Uh, at all. Love Darkseid. The CG could have been better for Darkseid. But, hey, 
we got dark side and i'm cool yeah. with that we're lucky to get this movie guys like it's a gift yeah. to us so yeah, 100%, right agree yeah I'll, I'll agree. and and i honestly if it was six hours i would have been cool with it it was yeah. It was everything I wanted. It, I, I'm cool with it, and I and I hope I really do hope HBO Max goes down this Snyder verse DCEU. Uh, I I I don't want this to end. I like yeah. this world. Yeah. But, and I did like and I did like the line where him and was it Wonder Woman walked into the big room and said, with a big round table in the middle and eight seats. Also in the first one. That, what was that? Yes. Was it really? Yes. That was in the first yes. one? I don't know. Or maybe I followed. Okay, whatever. Did Let you guess. see the first yes, one? I, I swear to God, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. Yeah, I did. I did. So, Dave, you just watched it last night. You're all primed up. Yeah, I, fi I finished it last night. So I did a, I did an hour and a half, and then I did uh, the, the balance of the movie. And I loved, 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 loved that it was chaptered. We had part one through part six in the epilogue. Yeah. really really cool i i've personally never seen a movie that was like you literally had stops and starts um they made cyborg look strong which is okay. fucking awesome yeah wonder woman looked amazing i loved black suit soups wailing on fucking <laughs> stephen wolf's yeah, face right, right. that like was amazing breaks it you know? yeah i mean head butts them and then you know, i mean i don't want to ruin it but then does the other thing and it was just yeah. it was really really good it was very, uh, I, I don't know, just how it was edited and put together. It, it felt like it was it was a bigger movie. And I didn't think that would, that could be possible. But um, I loved it. Signature Series 9-4. Right on. Right on. Okay. Frank, you have a comment? Yeah, there, there's a couple of comments. Dave, I, I agree with you. And, and, and it's rarely where you see, even in a comic book, Superman gets a cut loose like that. Because yes. he's always worried about this person. That yeah, person. yeah, yeah, good point. He's good point. Yeah. about his environment. Yeah. So he had, he was like, I'm cutting loose. I, I mean, it. You know, it was no whole spark. He was wailing on him. I think the oh, great yeah. part about that is it shows why the mother boxes stayed asleep while he was alive. Like Darkseid and those people knew they couldn't defeat him. And when all of a sudden he comes back to life, you see why. Because he easily... But, and you know what? And it literally just dawned on me. Even how the movie starts with with superman dying and you hear you hear him like those last those oh, last yeah. gas that and was like, the best you, and you hear that. them going That's out what, it shows that, it that waking the up the mother boxes yes was in the unreal yeah. Yeah. dude it shows i was sleeping by that point into the water down into <laughs> with the mother boxes in the yeah. water all the way to the mascara, they hear it there, and that's yes, when the yes, mother box cracks. Right, right. Okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Yes, Dave, that, yeah. that was a good point. I completely forgot about that. Yeah. That awesome, awesome. Small, small nitpicky thing. Small yeah. nitpicky thing. Why did they change Amber uh, Mirror's hair? Give her the red hair. I don't know. The I don't really know. red hair. Yeah. Was she <laughs> Come British on. in Aquaman? What? Was she British in Aquaman? She was not. That's another thing that I picked like, why up. Why would they change, like... How do you what? I don't know. In Justice League, you're you know British, and yeah. then in Aquaman, you're not. Yeah. Did you guys like Aquaman? Is that I like a movie you liked? I liked, I liked really? Aquaman a lot. See, I like Jason Momoa, but that movie didn't work for me. I I give oh, that I a CGC awesome. four point five. Oh, I can watch really? that. You give it a four point five? Yeah, yeah, I hated it. It just it just felt like they're all sitting on green screens holding tridents. One of them doesn't end up with a blue foot. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we got somebody else knocking on the door right no now. No way. Yeah, we do. So, Frank, we're going to let this guy in? Let him in. Let him in. All right. The bouncer's letting him in. So, we got Michael Raphael. Hey, Happy Friday. What's going on, dude? I am so honored to be a part of the get the grotto, man. This is pretty sweet, man. Well, I'm happy you joined us. Together, you know, being friends, talking shit. Oh, man. This is, hey, yeah. no, this is good, good man. Cheers to everyone. Cheers to you, man. Thank Cheers. you for joining us. Appreciate that. So, Justice League, what did you think? Man, let me tell you. Um, I, I felt like kind of a dickhead because at first I'm sitting there, I'm like, what's with all the musical scores? Yeah. And, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, you know, th this is going on for a minute. Like, this wasn't a couple of seconds of music to, you know, do something for the scene. I mean, they were full on music videos. And uh, I, I felt bad because I, I was talking to my buddies about it. And I was like, I, I liked it. I loved overall. I loved the movie. I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was leaps and bounds beyond what the first one was. Uh, I think the expectations that he set were were met. Were met. However, I, I will say this: if you would have tied together every goddamn trailer that they would have done, it would have been longer than the four and a half hour movie. That's <laughs> my only thing. 
Like I saw so many trailers and by the time I got it, I was like, all right, I feel like I've seen this movie already. But then it turns yeah. out that uh, all those songs were playlists from his daughter. Really? And, uh, yeah. Let me oh, tell you something. Man, that, died. Uh, as yeah. a new parent and, and just as anybody who's ever lost anyone, dude, that, that made me feel like, wow. Like, uh, you know, and anyone who was saying that about the music and everything was like, did you even know that? I didn't know that. I, like, I didn't know that at all. I didn't know that. And, and it changed the dynamic of the movie, man. It made every scene more powerful as I watched it. And, uh, yeah, I, I really, I, I had the feels, man. I, I thought it was fantastic. Definitely loved the fight scenes. Uh, I mean, I sat there and watched it with my wife, who's not a, a superhero person or a comic book person at all. And uh, she enjoyed it as well. I, I man, I, I loved it, man. I really did. I, I'm yeah. excited. I, I wish they would expand the Snyderverse, to be honest. Right. I think, and they got the springboard to do it. They really do. I mean, with how with how the movie ended, there there is a multitude of different ways that they can go. And it's, I guess, it's on HBO Max now to to look at Warner Brothers and go, "Yo, what the fuck? Like, let's go." Yeah, yes. I have a question for you guys. So, are you guys? I, see, I'm cool with them having two divergent like worlds. Like, they could have the the movie world and an HBO Max world. But HBO Max world, they have the budgets, as we know like marvel that will match the movie stuff so it won't right. be different so like there's yeah. no reason why they can't go down this path mm -hmm. they have the money to do it yeah i mean H hbo and, and and their family of companies i mean they're putting out shows like game of thrones where they're spending hundreds of fucking millions of dollars to to put out product so i mean I, I don't see why it would be any different for something like this so yeah no i agree totally. with you. You know, I, I, I just recently, well, Christopher Reeves was my uh, favorite, you know, super was my favorite Superman. And uh, somebody oh, yeah. said, you know, uh, but I didn't, you know, it wasn't until years later that I realized that, um, what is that doing? I, I, I think the streaming service is cracking nuts back there. Opened up so many more opportunities. I think, you yeah. know, we can't all get yeah. out to the theater, uh, but whether or not it's because you have small children or whether or not it's because you're still are under COVID lockdown. I think the success that we've seen just from the Marvel shows, uh, just the wide audience that you can capture, especially on services that we're paying for already and we have, it's just, I, I think the possibilities are endless. The budgets don't have to be as enormous. And you can really explore different characters, different avenues, and things that we've never thought we'd even see on screen. I think they have now the ability to get us. Everything is not a multi-million dollar, you know, huge budgeted production that they have to put together. And I think we're going to see a lot more of these side stories, man. I think we're going to see some new characters, uh, B-list, C-list characters that get brought up. That Suicide yep. Squad trailer was insane. Oh, that, oh it was a, holy that. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Segway, what about that? Did everybody have a chance to watch it? Benny, Benny Genius is bringing them. When are we going to get Brainiac? Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, you know what? I mean, they did such a phenomenal job with Brainiac on... Um, Krypton. Krypton. They, if they're going to bring him into this world, man, they better do a better job than what they did on Krypton because that Brainiac was absolutely phenomenal. Really? Yeah. Okay. He was, Krypton was a great show, man. It was such a great fucking show. Yeah, Krypton was good. <laughs> Is that What's that Somebody noise? Typing? Yeah, I don't know. Somebody typing? That Mike, Michael, are you typing over there? <laughs> he is. He is with his mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't I think, know. I think, he's, I think he's going in and out. I don't know what's going on. No, no, no. Yeah, no, I don't know. Sorry. Right. All right, we'll figure it out. But again, like when I was a kid, Richard Donner got fired from Superman 2. Yeah. Then it was like 20, 20, 25 years later when they were able to release the Donner first. Yes, so did I. So that was very important. So we have two great movies that are just absolutely fantastic and uh, just really, really neat. And, you know, people are saying we'd love to see Brainiac. Yeah. Uh, it's Frank They got to do them right, though. They got to yeah. do them right. You can't bring in a character like that and half ass them. No, yeah, I agree. No way. Krypton, which is a TV show with barely of a budget, nailed them. Correct. So. Correct. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. All right. So, guys, we've got a little bit of some technical difficulties here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have all the guests back out real quick, and then we'll kind of figure it out. So, uh, Chris and Mike, I'll let you right back in. Let's just figure out what the uh, sound issue is. All right. There we go. Okay. That was Chris. No, <laughs> there we go. So, let, Mike, let me have you back out real quick. All right. There we go. All right. So, tech, oh, technical difficulties. All right. There we go. <laughs> you you bounced Chris though. <laughs> no, I did. I, I yeah. really. I mean, so let's get Chris, join Chris, join again, please. Yeah, Chris, come back. We'll figure it out. 
Yes, Krypton had a great Lobo, right? Yes, he did. A great Lobo. Lobo yeah. So, all right. Uh, so let's bring Mike back in. All right. All right, Mike, I got you back in. That's good. Yeah, that's coming from your Mike. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There he is. What are you doing back there, Mike? All right, good. All right. All right. All right. Father, okay. man, I, I behave. Yeah, mm -hmm. right, for sure. So we've got lots of things to do tonight. Um, we've got a box of heroes. I'm going to show that off. Yeah. Um, that yeah, why don't we do that now, okay? So let's see. Let's see. Um, we'll get that going. Do you guys figure out what that... Uh, Quick noises. Oh, it's coming. I think it's coming from Mike. Mike, maybe you, when you're not when you're not talking, you can mute. Some some kind of it? feedback. I'm gonna mute. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Bingo. Yeah. Put on headphones. There you go. Yeah. So. Yeah. You have headphones. Okay. Cool. Okay. So here we go. All right. So box heroes. I just got Bye. two boxes. I'm gonna do just so you guys know. I'm going to do a uh, box heroes unboxing this Monday. Cranky Canadian isn't happening, just so we know. That's right. Okay. And it's my uh, it's Bubba's birthday, sixteenth right. birthday. Okay. So taking taking the Monday off to Hey wait, so Rod, you're gonna open that box? Yeah. All yeah. right, so wait, hold, hold on we one second. Let me, let me just do something for you. I you know, highlight this guy, man. <laughs> Frank, you wanna bring these uh come over here so you can bring these closer to them? All right, so you got it. You got it. this one uh, says Ivan Coelho Connected Variant. Oh, nice. Very nice. X-Men Legends number one. This is that was great. I read that. I can't wait for this two to come out. It was fun. a great, yeah, it was a fun book. Right. Oh, Just so you guys know, camera. Box Heroes that we're big fans okay. of. Closer. Uh, $38 shipped. Yeah. There you go. $38 shipped. $38 shipped. You're on the subscription. <laughs> yes, this is my subscription box. And you, for $38 subscribed, you do get an extra book and it yes. is noted. And right? it is noted, right. Okay, so, nice. Okay. Right. Like yeah, yes, you're doing a great job. Oh, oh nice. Miles that. Morales, Spider-Man number 23. Dude, that's a great cover. Yeah, look at the Miles this is, is nice. getting punched in the face. Yep. Nice. Jeez. Way, way cool. Love it. Okay, Jeez. this one says winner. Oh, no way. <laughs> no way. Oh, come, come on. on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so I'm going to I'm gonna no put way. that every month. <laughs> this this guy. I win all, win all the time. You guys stop it. They're going to go out of their way not to give me winners. If you keep complaining. Well, congratulations. All right. So I'm, I put that at the bottom. Let's see what we got here. All right. I don't know too much about that. Joseph Michael Ilsner, 2003 Convention Sketchbook, Dawn. I don't know. I don't That's know anything dope. about that. Yes. Joseph Chris, Michael Ilsner. Like, about this, Dave? This is a call he's, following, Dave. Tell him. Yeah, he's a, he's a pinup artist and a very good one at that, as you can see. <laughs> nice. All right. Supergirl number one. Nice book. Cool. Yeah. High grade. Slab looks good, worthy. Looks good, looks good in the my life. Nice. Yeah. yeah, perfect angle, Frank. You're doing good. All right, next book. <laughs> Benny, Beans. Warlock. All right. Benny Beans, Frank is your princess of comic games. <laughs> <laughs> the Fox. battle white of comics. He yes. talks. He's not the he's Ooh, not the Warlock. Nice. I, want to, I want to ask Chris something. Chris. Yes. Warlock is something that you're buying? Oh, yeah. Okay. Big time. Yeah, yep. big time. Yeah. Mike, what about Warlock. you? Warlock, what do you think about that coming to the MCU? I, th I think we're going to see it, man. I, we got the teaser. We, get, we, we got the tip. Now it's just time to get the whole thing. Nice. Yep. We got to okay. see it's it. It's undervalued, right? too. It's all undervalued right now yep. compared to everything else. Like, yeah. Warlock should be like World by Night prices. But let me get let me get your guys' opinion, though. What, 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 what do you think the big book on that is? It, is it the Thor 165 or is it the Fantastic One? What's, Can what's I tell opinion? you? What, what's the big book for you? What's your big book? I have a theory on this. I have a big theory on this. I think that the big key on this is going to turn into Marvel premiere number one because it's ev it's everything. It's the cheapest book right now. Everyone really? go get it. And I'll what tell you mean, why it's got Warlock know. in costume on the cover. It's got his first appearance as Warlock's name. And also yeah. he's just, he's fucking Warlock and, and that's <laughs> it. And the rest of it's just all kind of like preamble before that. But okay, this is well. the book. That's that's my theory. I don't think it's going to happen tomorrow, but I think it'll change. I really right. do. Short box says Thor 165. I mean, it's all these are all great spec things. Yeah, but I like that answer. That Warlock, that premiere. That's what he's called Warlock. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. You're it's the one. Guy. Chris, right. you definitely bring the Thor 165 first. I like the Thor 165 as well, Michael. 
Adam Strange. Strange. Adam Strange. Yeah. I don't know if there's any significance to that, but looks good. Yeah. Looks good, right? The box yeah, house. Yeah, my look my good. Just Batman three seventy. That's pretty cool. All right. Nice. Great cover. So this is my subscriber bonus. I got this book because oh, oh wow! I got this book because this, <laughs> this is I'm on the box, but you know me, I love me some carnage, carnage versus Gwenham. Oh yeah. Oh, in your Lee. Yeah. Yep. That'll do. This is my winner. Here Ooh. we go. <laughs> no way. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> no, my God. No. Holy shit. <laughs> Come on. Wow. Oh, my God. Nice. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah. This is almost a karate chop. Oh, my God. Right? I'm going to give you a karate <laughs> chop. Oh, my God. I just got light. Congratulations. Oh what a guy. Oh, holy shit. Oh, oh my God. God. Hey, if anyone deserves this, Roger. It really <laughs> all books it really is. Yeah. yeah. All books I didn't win. even know this was a grand prize. I was expecting a Lobo. Oh, <laughs> what condition? What's the condition no. like? It's, well, it's not the best. There's a lot of spine ticks, but, but it's who it's, cares? It's going right yeah. up. <laughs> Dude, you just got a, an amazing Spider Man 300 for $38. Like, $38. Congratulations. Oh, unbelievable. Wow. Oh, that's oh, so cool. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Dude, you gotta be Good kidding shit, me. Man. Box heroes, it's a way to go. I Let's understand. Show, again. Again. show it off. Yeah, one more time. One Look, more at time. Look at that. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Wow. That's the thirty-eight dollars he gets. Oh you. my god. Oh, oh, best thirty oh bucks god. spent. Yo, there is nobody in the world that gets it as good as Roger does. He really Box does. heroes, bro. <laughs> good night, people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. god. Dude. Yeah. Plus an issue of Dolan you got in there. <laughs> Oh my yeah, no way. <laughs> nice THD. Oh, holy crow. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Good night, everybody. All strands. Roger looks like he's witnessing the birth of his first child. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm like, I thought maybe it was like the three, like the pixelated one. Maybe right. I was missing something. No way. Bro, did did bro. this get lost in the mail or something? Or like It did. So, okay, my, oh so, so I have a, a yes. new, our regular mailman is not around, and our replacement. Decided that when the when the when the the address said 154 instead of 153, even though I had all my name and everything, that they weren't going to deliver it, and sent it back to the post office. So I reached out to Box Heroes. Where's my box? They said to the post office. They they found out. They're like, well, why don't we have to wait till we get it back? Get it back, and we're going to have to send it back to you. I'm like, all right. So I waited another two three weeks. Open it up live tonight. It was meant to be. Oh my god, awesome. I dude! I can't. Wait. I can't wait for you to watch the rewind so you can see your face when you turn oh. that book around. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Was it? Was it good, Dave? Dude, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh my god!" I, oh my I god. literally my, my, when you Michael's taking shots out. of proper twelve for you. <laughs> oh, what do you got there, Mike? No, no, it's apple juice. Apple juice. Apple juice. Very good. Oh, Thank you that's for that. Right. Thank you. We, we all have some apple juice. Cheers. 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 Steven, shouts of apple juice. Go ahead. Where do we go from here? Let's give something away. All right. Let's give something away. Let's Holy give something shit. away. I don't, I don't. I can't do a starting line. As you guys know, there's a con I'll coming up. Line. All right. There's a con coming up for um, the Little Giant Comics right here is doing a great show. Concord, in, New Hampshire. In Concord, New Hampshire. And we had the producer Jason Broderick on our show. We are we are official sponsors. East meets, East meets West are official sponsors. Um, the guys from Pressable Defects are there with CBSI. So it's going to be a great. It's a one day show, okay? But it is in an arena, okay? Now, please, if you are in the Northeast and you plan on coming, then please try to answer these questions. If answer this question, if not. Save it for somebody. If you're in California or yeah, please. You please if, like if you don't plan on going to the show, don't don't, don't answer. I will yeah. give away something else tonight. So I'm gonna give away two golden tickets right now for this show in New Hampshire. Um, and what this is is these are golden tickets. The golden ticket, uh, you are the lucky bearer of this golden ticket. Present this ticket at the gates of said arena in Concord, New Hampshire at 10 a.m. 
In your wildest dreams, you cannot imagine the marvelous comics, original art. So go right up. It's a free entry. I've got two of them, okay? I've got two of them. After the start line, okay. name the arena that is hosting this show. Oh. Okay. Wait for the start line. Wait, Wait for, for the, the start line. line. Wait for the start line. Wait for the start line. Name the arena. And Way to go, Bernie. Go. <laughs> Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Bernie. You're, you're very good at following directions, my man. <laughs> All right. So name the arena that this show will be hosted at. Okay. <laughs> and you will win two golden tickets. Um, uh, Power Pack. Power Pack Comics. Power Pack Comics. There we go, brother. I'll send these out to you, okay? So DM me on Instagram. Where does he live? Is he going? Ah, who knows? He's, that's right. So Power Pack sure. confirmed on attending. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So just let yeah, me know. Might, might be Joe doing deals. If, if it's Joe doing deals, it's fine. Joe, so. Joe, Joe lives in PA. He's Joey was in PA. Yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, Joey, you just won two golden tickets. Um, I will then I have more stuff to give away. He says, he says yes, he's going. All right. So you got two free tickets, brother. On um, the guys from good stuff. Great. That's good awesome. stuff, man. There you go, man. Thank you very much. And Joey, keep doing what you're doing, yeah, man. Your power right. pack is fantastic. Joey doing deals. That. All right. Woo! My God. I don't know. 45 uh, minutes. An ASM 300, still, still Michael Raphael, oh. Vancouver Comic Junkies, David and Cave, the reopening of Three Men in the Basement, Barry Gary's auction going on. And you don't get a better Friday night than this, man. You really don't. I'm so excited. I, I'm just unbelievable, <laughs> you know? And I'm still waiting for Bernie to show up. He's probably sitting in his car out front. Oh, he's busy blowing answers for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, we have a little bit of insider news about mm. comics. There was a big shakeup, okay? So let's talk a little bit about that shakeup while I enjoy my beverage. Roger will talk. So everybody heard the news that was announced that Marvel was going to be going through Penguin Publishers or Penguin, what are they, what are they called? The Penguin Random House, yep. PRH, for Penguin their Random Marvel. House. All right. That was the big news everybody's been talking about. So what came next was whether it was the day after the, the following day or the day the next day after that was a letter from Diamond to retailers. Now I got this from a source that will not be named. Dave, you want to throw that up there? Yep. From the Geppy Family Enterprises chairman Steve Geppy. Today Marvel announced a new arrangement for comics, trades, and graphic novels going to direct market starting with product on sale October 1st. Diamond will purchase these Marvel products from Penguin Random House as a wholesaler rather than a distributing them directly from Marvel. This change represents a behind-the-scenes shift in how we obtain, obtain these Marvel products for distribution, but it does not impact our ability to supply you with Marvel comics, trades, and graphic novels. While there are still details of this new arrangement to work through, including discount terms, we are committed to communicating any changes well in advance and making this an operationally seamless as possible. Marvel has been and remains an incredible partner. We are very pleased that we will continue selling Marvel product to the direct market. The email goes on and on and just talks about how much we love people. And, you know, we've been doing this for all these years and you've been part of it. There's nothing to add other than uh, tooting their own horn. Right. So my question is, and as not being a retailer, I don't know the answer. So if somebody else has insight, if Marvel is going to send these books through um, Penguin, Random House, why do we need Diamond? I don't know. I don't know. So if they say to Marvel, we're going to distribute these for them as a retailer, can't I just buy them from Penguin? That's a great question. Why would I want yeah. to add a third person in the middle sure. of there? Right. Because one, they've got to have their percentage yep. for, to pay for themselves. So doesn't that mark up the books? Yep, is it that's the, what I was thinking too. That's the ease of distribution, like Uncle Frank was saying earlier. I'm going to use Diamond because I'm already dealing with two. I don't want to have to deal with a third to get my IDW and all those guys. I don't know. This but is I Marvel's way of saying "fuck you" to Jeppy. That's what that's what they're doing. They don't want to yeah. deal with yeah, Diamond. But, so, so what is Jeppy getting at though? Like they're saying that we're still going to deliver to you, but we're just going to buy them from Penguin. Well, if Penguin's going to distribute to me, why would I want to go through Diamond? When it's only, at, in my opinion, that you would think business-wise, how do they stay in business if they don't mark up the product? Yeah. Penguin's not going to sell it to them at their cost. Right. 
I don't know. I, I mean, this so, is above and beyond. So, me. so looking at this email, the way they wrote it, yes, we're still going to distribute. So that's basically me saying, hey, you know what? To my LCS, don't worry about Diamond. I'm going to buy them from Diamond and sell them to you. Like, why would he do that? Why? Why? You know? Right. So you're he's, adding another pair of hands in there. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's changing his business model from from whatever he is now. Well, a distributor to a wholesaler. <laughs> So he could still try and hold on to however many accounts that he has. It's just, it's probably going to take him longer to get product. So sure. it'll be interesting yeah. to see how, how, Man, how, how that kind of works itself how, out. Right. But it's if, the beginning if, of the end. If I'm yep. trying to buy yeah. that product and I can buy it at cost from Penguin, it's not going to cost the same amount getting it from Diamond. So what is the benefit? Yeah, right. there is none. There is none. There is we none. got a super chat, There's boys. I don't know if you saw it. I did, yeah. I did. So before we talk about this, I don't really have much to add about this, but you guys are a lot smarter than me, so we can. So we got a nine ninety nine super chat from my boy Matty Howard. Have a drink, my friends. It's been a busy few weeks, but thank Matty. you very much, Matty. We appreciate that. Appreciate you. And uh, you know what, Dave? Why don't you show him the money? I'm gonna show him a little money. Hey, I got Bob the other line. I'm gonna hear you say it. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Show you the money. Not, not show you. Show me the money. Show me the money. Yeah. Louder! Show me the money! That's it, brother, but you got to yell that shit! Show me the money! I need to feel you, Jerry! Show me the money! Jerry, you better yell! Show me the money! Thank you, Matt. Thank you very yeah. much, Matt. Thank you very much. All right. We got some so good insight in the chat, you know, too. This comment from Copy 801 is a pretty good one. What is he saying? How much he's saying, No, you? he wanted to... They're, they're seeing this if Penguin can handle the... Uh, volume. Of but look, look, look at the comment below. Look at the comment here. Penguin also announced that they're, they're delivering Marvel products for free shipping and a 50, on top of a 50% discount. Jeez. That's a gigantic F you oh, to, yeah. to, totally. to, to, yeah. to Diamond. So. They're done. They're done. Yeah. So I, I, I have no skin in this game. I don't know too much about this at all. I just thought um, I just thought it was comical. Like We get this news and it's like, okay, well, Penguin's going to be distributing. And then Diamond steps right in and says, no, no, no. We're, we're, we'll still deliver your books for you. You know, yeah. Where's the part where you say, you know, a twenty five percent increase? Right. You yeah, know. Interesting. Yep. Interesting. So let's go around the horde. Dave, your thoughts, or are you just kind of like? I mean, I I don't have again. I don't have a dog in the fight. I just want my books. So. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay. Mike, what do you think about this? It's your insight. You're muted. You're on mute, my man. I feel like I'm at work. <laughs> Mike, you're muted. Yeah. Mike, you're muted. No, I'm sure that's very valid, Mike, but you're muted. <laughs> there you go. Not muted anymore. There you yeah, go. Now we're good. Now we're good. All right. So I, I love conspiracy theories, and um, I, I hear rumors of rumors of rumors. There was talk that Gephi wants to throw his hat into the ring to pick up DC. So oh, it, is this his way of sidestepping the conflict of interest if – he decided in the end to make a play for DC. That would be my question. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, well, it could be. I mean, I love the conspiracy things, and that's yeah. kind of kind of yeah. See how it plays out. Yeah. Chris, what do you think? My gut tells me that uh, the, the big two, uh, possibly the big five, uh, are unhappy with Jeppy and have been for a lot of years, and yeah, they're okay. all trying to get the fuck out. Is what they're doing. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. Be the way that, to do it, right? And they're doing it, and it's. I just think. I think they're just. I mean, I think Jeppy's going to be basically just handing out, not even Boom Studios soon. Like, which you yeah. know, it's like the indie guys. Like, I don't even think they're going to be doing those. I think these. Other, I think Penguin's going to take on everyone at some nice. point. Nice. Yeah. It could be well, could be, as long as they can yeah. handle the vibe. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, well that's the problem with the with, with the stores. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Just, but all this, like, I'm sure Ages Comics could probably uh, tune in, but they, they don't. Don't they have to like now go to different distributors and it's different order forms? Like all the stores, this is a lot of work for them now, isn't it? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, well, like, yeah. like it's a real pain in the ass. Like yeah. somebody needs to like kind of fold it all up into one again and just kind of take over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a Frank, it was a pain in the ass. Okay, the, the the way I see it is all right. Here comes Frank. Now Frank right. is the voice of reason when it comes to a lot of this yeah. stuff. So okay, <laughs> definitely the cost is going to pe get passed on to the consumer. Like yeah. Roger was saying, now, if you're an LCS and you're struggling because times are tough right now, yeah. all right, the thought of going to Diamond and paying that upcharge 
It's like, it does not make financial sense to me. Correct. I'm struggling here. Yep. Yeah. You may have two or three employees. You got to take care of them. Yep. You got, you got to provide insurance because sure. it's a law. No, this is going to get crazy for them. They're going to bow out. Okay. They're going to yeah, bow right. out. We'll have to see. It's easier to go to Penguin yeah. and because they have the infrastructure already yeah. built in. Even, yep. even if it's yep. a little more work because Diamond still has those other guys for now. Yes. For now. The money is what drives it. You can't, you know, if your business depends on being able to buy them at cost, you're going to go, you're going to have to do the extra work ordering them. I agree. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Well, real world stuff, real world comic book business that we are living through right now. And we're just going to have to see this play out. And we, as a consumers, yeah, maybe they'll you know, ship better. There you go. Look you know at what? the, look at the comment from Lou. This is the consequence of competition. That's there right. you go. Lou, is this, I, I want, oh God, Lou, is this something you see good for the uh, LCS Lou? Or is this something that is just you're going to sit back and see where the dust crumbles on? We'd love to see what Lou says about that, um, but we'll see what his comments are. So, really, really neat stuff. We got some CGC books to talk about. We've got some upgrades. Almost 50 minutes. Fantastic. Everybody's bopping back and forth. This has just been a lot of fun. So, wait till comics are 5.99 each. Well, <laughs> did you read that? that? Did you guys read that? Diamond needs to start an advanced packing technology known as bubble wrap. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, absolutely. All right, so Dave got some books back. So this is a story that we're going to tell. At the last three minute basement comic crawl, crawl number three, Michael Raphael was there, and Michael Raphael re represents Spineworks. And we were very fortunate that we had somebody who was providing us with on-site submissions and who took care of many, many books. So, Mike, that day, do you remember how many individual books you got or how many pieces you got? Like, how many submissions versus, I mean, it, like. It was quite, it was quite a bit, man. Um, okay. I, I filled up pretty much a, a whole, pretty much a whole short box, man. Uh, a couple of folios, two two paper bags, a duffel bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was right. quite a bit. It was quite. It was. It was quite a bit. I, I was surprised. I was expecting a few. You know, maybe someone like dug something special out, or someone found something in a random corner, like I did. And like, all right, I'll probably get a few books. Dude, I, I went home. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> no, you had to get Lenny to come up from Florida, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and the highlight of the trip was above so, everything. So, yeah, so, we, we, so we, we had some some really nice books, uh, really nice books. I mean, everybody submitted some awesome books to us. But there were a couple that uh, we did not trust necessarily shipping. So we decided uh, for every reason we could think of to fly up my partner, Lenny Cerna. What up, Lenny? Uh, had him Lenny. come. We worked on the books together. So we were able to actually bang out the whole order in a couple of days, which we worked long hours on it. So we hope everybody's happy with it. Uh, and uh, we wanted to personally transport the books. We did not trust FedEx, USPS, UPS, DHL, or anybody else. Uh, we mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that uh, the books that we had got there safely, and they did. Lenny went through about three screenings, a couple of rubber gloves. Yeah. I had to do some explaining why these white packages were taped up like that, the bubble wrap and shit. Oh my god! I think he hysterical. made some. He made some new friends. You know, but, but hey, it was, it was a oh, fun day. Yeah, right. K nine, the, the AF fifteen, the giant size X Men. It was, it was unbelievable. You know, and I mean, and I was heading in my modern CU, so yeah. it was just crazy. The other big books, when we're all taking pictures with them. Yes, like, exactly, like exactly. <laughs> you know, um, but Dave. You had a book in particular <laughs> that you sent in. Right. Oh, I did. Oh, I, like I did. I did. Oh, remember, remember this one, guys? Remember this biggest one? Oh, wow. Wow. Remember this one? The biggest oh, defeat wow. that Dave had ever, right? Modern the quick, book. The Go quickest ahead. I've ever smashed a CGC case. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> wham. <laughs> a modern, right? I got, this, I got this still pics of your face, by the way. Yeah. I think, like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, but yeah, there's a there's that in there. There's a Vengeance One in here. So we'll uh, let's see. I guess we'll just jump right into it. Yeah. So, right. So here hey, it Dave, is. Just before you start, what was the notes on that six zero? Uh, there was a subscription subscription crease up the middle. Um, spine stress, I think. I mean, I can go back and look, but um, they almost don't Dave, make sense don't anymore. Do. 
No, they really don't. There's a late spine. It went through it through the through whole first half of the book, that crease. Was yeah. the oh, entire it? first half of the book. Yeah. Interestingly oh, enough, no it shit. didn't go past the centerfold, but when I tell you every single page from the front to the centerfold, only the front, as if someone did it like this and and just did that to it. Wow. Wow. And, uh, cool. and then we had a nice little uh, dog ear coming off the bottom that I thought was a chunk was missing. But uh you'll nice. you'll see. Otto, highlight me? Because I got two hands on the book. <laughs> so this is where we're gonna start. We got a vengeance one. Oh, beautiful. Your first I appearance of America Chavez. I don't know about that book at all. Uh, I need that book so bad. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. Nine six is a new nine eight. Yes, it, it is. Yeah. Yeah, this has got a crazy amount of first appearances. First appearance of Ultimate Nullifier, Mako, Radioactive Kid, the new Black Knight, and the new Miss America, which is America Chavez. So, yeah. what's that going for now? What, nine eight, isn't it? Nine eight, I think, well, goes for goes. like six. Yep. Six ish. Six. All right, we have a comment from Uncle Frank. Uncle Frank, really? come up and talk about that. So, Uncle Frank is king of my Frank, Uncle Frank digs. He's a definite digger when it comes to this book. And what do you think about that book? That book is a ghost. I've been looking for that book for at least a year and a half. I don't find it anywhere. All right. <laughs> and, and trust me, I don't mind spending a little bit of money on books. But or spending yeah. time. You spending dig, the time. You oh, dig. Yeah. oh, yeah. Shout out, uh, shout out Jay Blitz and his auctions. That's where I got this. Oh, nice. Right on, right on. Okay. Nine six. All right. All right, ladies and germs. Let's see where we're gonna land here. It's gotta be the only way is gonna be up, right? You gotta go up, right? If it's not, it's, I'm lighting I'm lighting it on fire. Could go right? down. <laughs> Anytime you crack a book, it can go down. That's true, Michael. <laughs> Let's take it out. Yeah, he's gonna show it. All right. Here we go. Right, we one. It was a six O CGC, right? Was a six O. Oh. Your first appearance of Cindy Moon as Silk, your one in ten Humberto Ramos variant, and we are coming in at a oh! holy shit! <laughs> Congratulations! Holy <laughs> shit, dude! <laughs> That's what you do. That's how you do it. Oh, oh my you gotta be kidding me! The power you of the press. Fucking kidding me, dude! Right there is wow. <laughs> It's unbelievable. Mike, you are a fucking wizard, bro. <laughs> I, I, try, I try to be diligent. I just try Dude, to be that's, diligent. That's, I, that is sick. There you go. Before and after, folks. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm, I am glad you're happy, man. Dude, that's so sick. Amazing. That's incredible. That's crazy. I'm getting that joy out of this. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Bro. I don't even. I don't even have that book, by the way. I've been like trying to get my hands on one of those. I don't even have one. That's crazy. Man. That's awesome. Congrats. Yo, shout out Mike. Shout out Lenny. Shout out Spineworks. This is, dude, this is just next level shit. Yeah. Six, six, oh, six, oh, to a nine, eight, guys. Six, oh. How six, does oh, to a nine, eight. eight. That needs to be like an advertisement or something for someone. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take, I'll take nice pics later. So Same that's right. a while. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. They make mistakes. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Congrats. Great haul. Yeah, Great that's crazy. Haul. Oh. Great <laughs> haul. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, white pages, yeah, both are white pages. There right. you go. Nice. That's sick. Awesome. So we have a we have a story because every every you know what it's all about these experiences, you guys, and that's why this channel. That's why everybody is a group. That's why everybody here. We want to share these experiences with you guys, and we want to tell you that this is what happens because you know what this is fun for us, man. Especially during a year when everything was shut down and you had to wear masks and you couldn't do nothing, yeah. and you know we want to celebrate. We want to celebrate the victories, and that's a huge victory when we're talking about things that we enjoy, comic book hunting, and you know, a book comes back at six. You're like, how did this happen? Dave was so defeated; he never cracked the slab fast enough. Now oh. you see a nine eight. Roger buys a thirty eight dollar box <laughs> and gets an ASM three hundred. Of all the books for Roger to get, yeah, is a right. grand prize. Exactly. It was unbelievable. Now Uncle Frank has a book that he submitted that day, I do have a story. and we're going to talk about that right now. So Uncle Frank, please. Please, please come to the stage, Uncle Frank. Come to the stage, and uh, we'll talk about this a little bit more. Um, 
So Frank, come around. <laughs> Dave, can you highlight this guy? I got him. All right. All right. So I didn't know too much about this story at the time, but can you just tell everybody what had happened? Like we were leaving Sarge's. No, we were leaving the second stop, second stop yeah. on our way to the eye opener. Right. Right. And you had a book. What book was it? This was Batman Adventures 12. <clears throat> 12. Right. Okay. So tell her. So you bought it how many years ago? I bought it at Terrific Con 2019 or 18, something okay, like that. Okay. So we're on there. Okay. Right. And I got it. I got it for a fair price. Okay. All right. Okay. And, and I, I look great. It was an 8.5. Gotcha. And okay. if you look at my Instagram account, you'll see it's one of my first posts that I have. Yep. All right. So Roger. <laughs> now you guys are driving back. He's driving right. back and he mentioned that he had this book. And he's like, you know, I always thought about cracking it, you know, because I don't think it was pressed. I'm like, well, what are you waiting for? We have, <laughs> we have on-site submitting. We're going, you know, why not just stop? You don't mind if I stop home? I'm like, I'll be mad if you don't stop. Oh, 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 oh. And he, when he gets like that, <laughs> yeah, you know, he like, did. I had to right? stop home. When he gets cranky like that, you, you really <laughs> have to, you know. So it was a BA12, right? Right. So you gave it to Mike. I did. Okay, Mike. When you first saw this book, what were your initial thoughts? Mike, can you hear me? I can yeah, hear Mike. you. Yeah. When you first saw, I think book, I got a little there. lag. Yeah, he's yeah. probably a little uh, lag. That's okay. We should... So, uh, yeah, we took a look at it, uh, looked at it in different light, different angles, and the first thing we saw was the the finger fuck on the side. Like somebody <laughs> somebody was looking through the book and they got a little anxious and they got a little happy, and they and they and they pulled it up. Uh, on, on the back, you could see there was a little bit of a uh, little little ding here and there, nothing particular, and then. Lenny caught the most important things. We went through all our books together. And I think when Lenny and I are in a room, it's like you could do no wrong at that point. Like you got two good sets of eyes on it. And my man Lenny, this he's like, oh, hold on. We got to do these pages real quick. You see Lenny in there, hit the page, hit this page, hit this page, hit this page. And it's really tension detail. Something we never would have noticed with the book being there was that a whole bunch of the pages were bent in different directions. Really? Which was odd too. Oh, wow. And it, was yeah. the, and it was the inside of the pages. There are things, and you know what? We tell a lot of people, you know, people hand us books a lot of times think that we're fucking alchemists, right? Like, you can hand us anything, and we're going to give you back, like, an eye. Hey, now, I wish that was the case, because I wouldn't be pressing for anyone else. I would just literally buy every piece of shit that I can get and, and just sell them <laughs> myself and be yeah. living like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Right. <laughs> but, but what we tell people is, look at your damn books. Like, some people, you know, some things and i'm like now this is not uncle frank i go for this thing was case but a lot of people don't you know they're so worried about putting a crease in the cover if they open their comic book that they miss a lot of things and you know opportunities that you could find in the beginning before you send your book to cgc to begin with to have addressed but if you don't open your book and look inside it for at least a second you're going to miss something you know so right. it's things like that that you got to really look out for yep and Lenny, and then, Lenny so, has the most amazing eye for that. He is my mentor. He is. Lenny is, is a very interesting guy. So shout out to Lenny. Wish you could join us tonight. So now you get this book back and you do your Instagram live. So on Instagram, you are? Uncle Frank's Comics. Uncle Frank's Comics, where you can actually see the reaction because. It's amazing. Roger's reaction was great. Uncle Frank's reaction was really great. Put so, some music on it. I mean, Roger had the, I mean, Frank had the music on so, and it was just. Really, really fun to see, fun to see. So, Frank, show everybody what you ended up with. Now, it was an eight five. Okay, all right, Rod, you, you want to help everybody out here? Lo and behold, it comes back. Boom. That's right, a BA twelve nine point eight. Unbelievable. Wild. We go from an eight. Look at Chris. What, dude? <laughs> hey, I'll give you three hundred bucks for that. Is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Wild. I, wow. I think Maddie, Matt, Matt Forrest called it yeah. the God bump. The God bump? Yeah. yeah. The God Look bump. At that. So it comes back at 9 8. My God. So, and in an era where CGC is not handed out 9 nine eights, they're they're not handing these things out very easily. They're not, right? They're absolutely not. So, Especially with bronze. Like, well, this book's on the level. Like, it's not even. Is it modern? Is it modern or bronze? That book. No, that's modern. That's modern. That's modern, that's so modern, modern. isn't it? It's yeah. modern. Okay. Gotcha. So now I have so much envy because I've had a few of these books and nothing more than a nine, nothing more than a nine four. I should say it like that. My highest grade was a nine four. I did submit one. It came back lower, so I had a nine. Now I love this book. I love the character of Harlequin. 
but I knew, I know, I knew of a very nice raw copy. So now what you guys don't understand is that the three men in the basement, we're always making deals, right? We always get together. We're always doing everything. So one Saturday afternoon, Sometimes too much, two months. So one Saturday <laughs> afternoon, short box birdie, we start talking. I go, I think I might sell my 9.0 to upgrade to this raw copy and see what it comes back at. And we're going back and forth. I messaged a person as the raw copy. Bernie throws out a number. We're all sitting around. Within two hours, the deal was made. Just trying to eat lunch. I mean, yeah, we're just trying to eat lunch. Some people just want to eat lunch. Yeah, right? like the deals were being made. So now <laughs> Bernie has a 9.0. I'm picking up a raw copy that I, I'll be honest with you, I paid 800 for. Uh, so I'll be picking that up with the expectation uh, that he's going to be refunding you. No, he's well, not. He's not. I'm going to you're not gonna, you're not gonna undercut me, okay? I'm going to. So, <laughs> but I've got another one that I'm going to send out eventually and have it come back. So the BA12 story is fantastic. And more importantly, this whole thing that transpired, I blame Uncle Frank. I blame you, Frank. <laughs> Wait till you see the other book that Michael's working on. Okay. All right. So then I, okay. So I, Blame him for that. After Everett Orb poured me. That's right. That, I do want to say I was working. <laughs> Bernie, Roger, Bernie and I went to see Everett, who was bartending. Right. So after we, we went from there to the other bar where yes, Everett was able to Which I, I graciously bought everybody around, maybe That's two. Nice. And as I was making a deal with Pat, the apple juice was over poured. Not that I would ever do that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So deals were being made. So, yes. So that doesn't only happen at the golf course. It also happens. Was, I thought he was drunk. He was buying me stuff left and right. Oh, my God. It was great. It was great. <laughs> oh, good day. Now, oh, boy. I have a 25-book CGC submission right now that we're going to open. Okay? I Let's gave him, go. I gave them to Spineworks the day of the crawl. They, I got them back last week. Now, lately, I've been doing CGC submissions with my daughter, Zoe Zozo Zarina. But Zoe has become very expensive. Okay. <laughs> Starbucks has become this whole endeavor with Zoe is now cake pops. Me, is, yes, yes, more Chris. Than a, more than this. Oh yeah, right. I have the same problem with my Zoe. Yeah, that's the right. These Zoe's are very demanding, right? So not yeah. only is it a venti pink drink, but now it's a cake pop because I've been getting good grades with her. I'm more expensive. Right. Exactly. Well, yeah. So between these guys, I'm just paying out a lot of money. So tonight I saved this box, and let me tell you something. I'm, I'm really good at, well, I shouldn't say this. I do have patience, but after eight or nine days, I'm like, dude, what's in the box, man? Come on, what's let's go, man. Let's go. So Wait, hold now, on. Are, I, we the, are we about to do a CGC unboxing? We are. <laughs> yeah, we'll That's awesome. Box, yeah. <laughs> you have the what's in the box one? No, I, I'll, 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 remake, I'll exactly. remake it. Don't worry. All right. So there are some fun books in here. There's some Star Wars. There's a Transformers one. Uh, there's a lot of other books. Here I that cannot stress this enough to you people that I'm taking my life in my own hands by being the one who opens these books for them. Until it looks like he's about to poke you in the eye and <laughs> throat punch you. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. So, but listen. You want, this is what we're doing next? That's it. That's, that's what we're going to do. It. Now, Roger will read off the books. Again, I will tell you a little bit about the books, but I remember grabbing some books at the crawl, grabbing some books here, grabbing some books there. Um, don't know. So an hour and 10 minutes into it. Oh, here he goes. He's got to put on his arm. Yes. So, yes. There we I go. Love, I'm all about this right now. Okay. So uh, <laughs> Sith is going to turn this into a meme. I need protection. <laughs> Sith is going to turn this in. Sith, <laughs> Sith clip it. Clip it. Clip it. I am really – Mark Clayton, you're right. Zoe is – the good luck charm, but she's very expensive. So let's see what happens here. All right, Roger. he might punch me if he gets bad grades because I'm there you go. Look at right. what, what you thought. Let's, we haven't done this in so long, but I did prep the box. I did open it. All right, Wookie, Wookie fodder. Roger, you has get a better... I'm sorry, Roger. Yeah, right. <laughs> He's got better odds of surviving the Thunderdome than he he does behind the bar. Yeah, all right, it's a little tight back here, but all right. <laughs> He's got. Oh, all right, yeah. There it is, Sith. But, clipped. But, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. All right. First one. Okay. We got Big Trouble in Little China. Oh yes. Ooh. Fun book right Number there. Number one. Yes. Oh. Shout out to my man Chinmo. 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 Who came up to me at the show and said, "Otto, I know you're a big fan of Big Trouble in Little China, which I am." Um, where's my truck? Just a great movie from the '80s. You know, Chris and I are probably the only two who could appreciate that movie for what it was. Oh, Uncle Frank, too. Actually, May the wings of liberty never lose a feather. 
Yes, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So Big Trouble Little China, he gifted me this book. You guys and, don't know that. I mean, it's just really taking my life in my own hands. Yeah. So I, I, I grabbed the book and I said, Chimo, thank you very much. I appreciate you and I appreciate the book. So I sent it to uh, the guys and we're going to start off with the first book of our 25, CG, 25 book CGC submission. And without further ado, can I see it? <laughs> take it out of the bag. There we go. Out of the bag. There we go already. That's a karate wow. shot. Boom. <laughs> That's a great way to start. And, and then we're gonna do we're gonna do a buy it now right this for uh 125 ship. <laughs> oh hey now we just went on a ride. Look at that boom studio and they sent you the certificate of, of authenticity back. Yeah, that's really it's cool. a great so, cover too. Uh, that's look at awesome. this, man. It's got the truck, it's got the demon. Um what the hell? This doesn't go with that. No, it goes with another book. So all right, look at that. Star so Wars big trouble little one. China. I can't wait to display this. So nice. we've already got a nine eight karate chat. That's cool. Can we all agree that Boom Studios is pretty much killing it with all their movie Boom adaptations and stuff? They're the best. Percent. Ross Ritchie's the best. John Carpenter, oh. Eric Paul story. Okay, kid, don't get cocky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, you Hold sent on. one of these in? All right, what is it? Transformers. Oh, this is the big book. <laughs> right out of the gate, we're going after it, huh? Oh, the big book. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> easy, Mike. Don't die. <laughs> so here we go. So, uh, I don't own a Transformers number one in high grade. I'm going to tell you, I'm a little bit of a snob when it comes to the stuff that I collected as a kid. This was a Bill Sankovich cover. I'm a diehard Transformers fan. I'm a diehard Optimus Prime fan. And I failed in collecting over the past five years because I always said, mm. I'm going to buy this book later. I'm going to buy this book later. And Chris, what has a 9.8 gone up to? I know you know. It's about 1,800. Yeah, it really has. US, so yeah. what I have decided to do was buy as many copies as I can, have them sent out, and have the hobby pay for itself. So this is one of four copies that I own. <sighs> if it's a 9.8, I'm ecstatic. If it's anything over a 9.2, I'm, I'm even better. Um, but again, I don't know. So... We'll see, but again, I'm into this book as a comic book investing book to eventually buy the Night Eight because Optimus Prime is one of my favorite leaders. Um, I just love the Transformers, everything about it. So, all right. So, without further, you forgot ado, sexy nine two. too. Nine two. There we go. All right. Awesome. That's a solid book, dude. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, ah. Didn't you buy that book thinking it was lower though? Autumn? What's that? Everett, didn't you buy that book like think it was lower than that though? I thought like, it was like an eight five. I think I yeah, that's a good job. grade, dude. That's that's great. That's a great grade for this book, and I'm, yeah. I'm okay with that because yeah, you know, yeah, there, 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 up, was, there was a num there was a number written on the back of that board, by the way. There was okay. <clears throat> so nine two. There we go. So this is the have, road to the nine eight. Our uh, our transformers didn't do very well this round. Right. What did you get? I think mine was also a nine two. Yeah, so that's fine though. It's fine because I again oh, I'm building dollars. with this book. Equity. I'm building with this book. So, uh, equity, right? Who said equity? It's this guy over here. It's, it's, all it's all about equity, Dave. That's I right. I know you said this. It's Star Wars, Star Wars High Republic number one. Oh. Oh, a little modern goodness. Yeah. Uh, Is this the the uh, Yoda variant? The Yoda variant. Okay. This had the color touch on it, Mike, or not the color touch, but the um, color rub. Yes, it did. Yeah, the color rubs. Okay. Had the rubs. And you had to rub it out? It was rubbing. Yeah, pause. <laughs> rubbing. Right. I had to rub it out, baby. Can, we, can I pause for a second? With color rub, like on a modern book like that, is that a printing defect or is it usually or is it usually something that's done afterwards? The shipping defect. Yeah. It's, it's all a diamond shipping skull. defect. Yeah. Yeah. It's all diamond. Motherfucker. It could be it could be mm. if someone handled it. Yeah, it, it could just be stacked on top of another book. Uh, it, yeah. it, a lot of there's a lot of black rear covers now, mm. so with light front covers and black rear covers, it's a it's a perfect storm for disaster. I had six of those books. Every single one of them had color rub along the entire spine. Okay. Shit, right? Wow. Uh, I I think this is the Stephanie Hans variant. Am I right saying that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So book for the PC. Love the cover. Let's see what we got. Staying in the PC. Nine point eight. There we oh. go, no, baby. That's a oh, that's one. A... That's a karate chop. Wow. Yeah. 
And sorry, that book had color yeah. red too. That wow. Man. Pretty book right there. Yeah. Ooh, well, you know, I, I, a lot, a lot of them. Know, my books so the I, had rub, I rubbed it the right way. Though. Yeah, there we I go. rubbed <laughs> it the right there way. Appreciate that the fact that you're good at rubbing them out. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> love it. Love it. That book is staying in a piece of oh my me, God. Sith, Sith hey, is going to have a real day. <laughs> yeah, really. And if anyone's not reading that, very good read, especially if you read The Light yeah. of the Jedi first, which okay. is a book. Great yeah. story. For Michael. All right, All we right. have a question for Mike in the light in, in the in the studio audience. All right, we know this has some color up there. Yes. How much is CGC going to allow you before they drop it from nine eight? Um, it, it depends really how glaring it is. Uh, me personally, I, I'd rather not take chances. Like someone said earlier, they got a lot of flack for handing out nine point eights and high grades in general, and I, I think. They're trying to regain a lot of their credibility. So they're going to get tougher on grading, guys. I, I think so many submissions are coming in, and they want to maintain their status as the go-to company. And in order to do that, they have to regain the credibility of longtime collectors and investors that right now is kind of shaky because they're feeling like, you know, for a while it seemed like they were just dialing it in while they were busy expanding other areas. So I think we're going to see – some tougher grading on CGC, and honestly, it's better it. to be safe than sorry these days. So if something can be fixed on your book, you're better off getting it taken care of. Do not leave it to chance. Otherwise, you, you have to CPR the book, and there's just more money. And Chris, what your your thoughts on this? You've been talking about this for almost six. I'm, I'm fine. Personally, I'm fine with CGC right now. If you have copper or bronze, nine eights are the ghost. Like there, there's guys who are setting in twenty five books that they think are all nine eights, and they're all coming back nine sixes. You know, it's in that era, though. It's like before 1990, 91. Um, yeah, it's really hard. That. We've been talking about it for a while, but it's, yeah. and I'm finding that's the case with the stuff I'm getting back now. Whereas a year ago, I, I was getting a lot of 9.8s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pre screened two 9.8 boxes, though, 225s. Uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, I can't uh, wait for that video. There you in go. about three three weeks, I'll, I'll know. All of a sudden, you know what these fucking Star Wars? You hear this guy like, like, what do you think? I just hang around, I hear things, and I buy things. Star God. Wars Thrawn number one. Oh. Ooh. 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 Who is this guy sending in Star I'm Wars books? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Thrawn fan. I think this is the regular. This, this is a regular. I'm a huge Thrawn fan. So, you know, I Hair to the Empire is one of my favorite books of all time. I read it in a paperback. Hair. I mean, hair. 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 You're talking the wrong hair. Oh. Hair. All right. <laughs> I said this in because I love Thrawn. He's going to be eventually coming and just a great character. And so without further ado, I'm looking at a... Oh, here we go again, baby! <laughs> this guy. That's awesome. <laughs> <We're out of laughs> I think I got a crew. Right, Congratulations. Go. That's awesome. Not... There we go. Let's give them one. And then we're going to do, we're going to do a buy it now, right? This for uh, yeah, 125 ship. Hmm. Oh, hey now. We just went on a ride. That's another one. <laughs> well, I'll be one of these. Yeah. All right, here Same we go. Cover. Same cover. So I said it. Why did I send it two? If you want to read it twice. If or I want to read it twice. twice or look at it twice or have a comic for multiple comics. Or you want to sell one to me. Yeah. All right. Ooh. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. The uh, Sith is dropping some knowledge in the chat right yeah, there. If you're a Thrawn fan, get Dark Empire One, which came out years before. It has the first mention of Thrawn in the end notes, but not in the comic book. Very interesting, Sith. Okay. Boom. First time I read him was in the uh, paperbacks, so the, the trilogy. All right. So again, number so one. So you're gonna sell me the lower grade? If there is a lower grade, we'll talk. All right. So there's not a lower grade. It's another one. Holy shit! <laughs> My man is on fire. I love how Roger ran. <laughs> he was like, I'm out of here. You're talking me two. You're talking me two. <laughs> you're talking me two. <laughs> That's the best slide ever. <laughs> okay. I love it. Ooh, I'm sweating. I'm sweating. I worked out crazy. There we go. Ooh, All right. two and there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Roll I, I get more apple juice. We need to talk. All right. All right. This is Mighty Avengers 1. Ooh. Is it really? <laughs> New team. I don't even know this book. Is, uh... Oh, yes. I think this is the first Illuminati. The Avengers are all on the cover. Is that right? The first Illuminati. New yeah. Avengers 7 
is the first. I don't even know why I said this is. No, this is whatever. It's it's fine. It says new team Iron Man, Miss Marvel, Century, Lost. Yeah, this is a random book. I was going to ask you why you sent it. I don't know, Mike. To be Frank honest, with you, I made a mistake. Right. I, I made a mistake. You probably made a mistake. mistake. You probably thought this was. Number seven. I did, I did, I, I definitely did, I definitely okay. did. But whatever. And that's what makes you likable, Otto, because you're not perfect. Yeah, yeah. thank you very much. I appreciate that. So, you so, be nine point four. Oh, <laughs> nine point four. That's fine. You know what? I'm going to donate this book. This is the book nice. I'll donate to the charity. All right, All right. there we Beautiful. go. Beautiful. Michael Bendis cover. Yeah. Show. It is a nice looking book. Yeah, them all. So. Totally off, to totally off topic, Roger. It's so weird to watch you drink out of a normal size glass. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> well, that is know, strange. I didn't bring anything, and you know, Everett wasn't prepared for me. Oh my god! <laughs> normally, <laughs> normally, you know, I come to the grotto. He's got stuff ready for me. This time, oh, he's like, I gotta, I gotta open up the place. I gotta set the lighting up. I gotta make sure everything's set up. I got three weeks. My God, Fantastic. Roger, how far away do you live from? How far away do you guys live from each other? Six minutes yeah, if you're walking. Oh, there you walking. go. Walking. Walking. Yeah. Three blocks. Literally three blocks. First appearance of Nicholas Scratch. What book is this? Fantastic Four 185. 85, yeah. Is that Four. Is that Thundra? Let me see the cover. Oh, oh it's 185. No, it's Nicholas Scratch. It's this is the um the uh, Agatha Harkness uh storyline. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Don't know what's smart this book. book. Is good yeah, good book to buy. I hope it's an eight five or better. You know, this was probably the oldest of the books. So, don't know. What am I looking at? Eight five nine six. <laughs> Holy, Holy shit! Shit! <laughs> Last year it would have been a nine eight. <laughs> yeah, that is that is like a nine eight. <laughs> Congratulations! This, guy, That's this awesome. guy's pulling nine sixes in the. Fucking, Jesus Christ! I think oh, there's a big future in that book. I really do. Because of the character, the Nicholas Scratch yeah. is the son of Agatha. Is that right? Yeah, and Agatha ain't over. Like she's. Oh. She's coming, for and sure. Just so you know, 1977, yeah. listen to the greatness of this book. Len Wein's story, God rest his soul. George Perez, Joe Sinnott, cover and art, God rest his soul. So three of Marvel's greats in this <clears> book. George Perez isn't dead. Well, two out of three of Marvel greats that are past. The Doombots. Yes. <laughs> great, great for that book. Chris, that's a sleeper book. Tell me about it, right? Like A hundred percent. No, I couldn't agree more. Don't sell that anytime soon. You hold on to that book for a while. Oh, Nine, six, Dark Dark that's a solid oh, green. Dark Maul number one. Yeah, is this the first appearance of Dark Maul? No, no, but it's the Star it's the Wars. Ray, it's the Ray Park no. photo. Well, it's the Ray Park it's photo. The photo, right? Okay. Roberts, so I was calling all these car stock. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Michael Benson, Mephisto graded these books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might tear my rotor cuff. I'm telling you. I'm gonna tell you. Right, here we go. I'll take this. I love it. I'm a Darth Maul fan. Nice. Cool book. Right there. Not bad. You know, and I know I bought um, this in a raw. I got this from Sarge's. Um, this is what it is. You know, probably thumbed through a bunch of times. But Dynamic Forces Red Foil Edition. Cool there book. You know. Gonna go with my Darth every, Maul. every time you guys show modern uh, Star Wars books, I hate you because I never mm -hmm. got on the boat. I never did it. And I, yeah. I, I have none of them. And I, uh, I'm jealous completely. Yeah. Uh, nice. Because it's such a out. big thing. Yeah, no, for sure. We want to give a shout out to Lenny. I don't want to give a shout out to Captured Collectibles, who I think are going to be in New Hampshire, which I can't wait to meet. Uh, Jason Irizarry, mm -hmm. the to help push everyone's books through. These books came back in a very quick manner. So thank you very much, Lenny. We appreciate that. All right. And when's Lenny going to come oh, up? Yeah, so guys, J Jason and Captured Collectibles are our trusted partner. He's, he's going to come up, man. He's going to come see his nephew. So, All right, so he's, Lenny's he's coming up. up soon. But all right, what do yeah, I have? Star Wars. It's another Star, Star Wars. Wars. Oh my Episode God. Key John Jin, number one. Yeah. It's like a foil nice. variant. I'm like, where this. That's the collect. Yeah. yeah, Dynamic Forces. Yeah. Yep. All right. So I got one nine four. If I'm linear, I'll get another nine four. So. You got a nine six. A nine six. Woo, look at that Qui Gon cover right there. That nice. is dope. Look at that. Look at that. Mall's on back, the cover. Back's even nicer. Look at even a black cover, though. Black covers are tough, right, guys? Yeah. Um, yeah. Look the worst, the worst, oh, the worst. Look at what Chris says. The worst. Oh, I mean, back. because you never know. I might just have to display the, the back. Here we go. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. All right, holograph cover, Liam Neeson. Very cool book. Okay. These books I got at Sarge's are like our I think our second crawl or something. Because you know, you know, those cardstock and foil and hologram covers are a lot of fun combined. 
to work yeah. on. Clearly, <laughs> you got a uh, you got Jason. I bet they are. Yeah, Jason's in the chat. Nice. Jason's in the chat right now. Shout out to you, Jason, for joining yeah. us. Thanks, man. Yeah. yeah, this is All Star Comics number fifty eight. Yeah, fifty eight. Yeah, yeah. 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 Power Girl. Oh, oh yeah. yo, who oh. is this guy? Power oh. Girl, Star oh. Wars oh. books. What's going on? Twisted. Twisted. You guys think Otto just sits around? Listen, I'm a trained observer. I watch mm. things. I listen to things. <laughs> Power Girl's coming, man. <laughs> I agree. You're I agree. horrible. You don't get any more radio. I agree. I agree 100%. What's that? She's coming. No, yeah. definitely. Definitely. We've been right. talking right. about that book for a long yeah, time. Yeah, we've been talking about yeah. it. I think this book, honestly, God, when I looked at it, it was 9-2 or better. I'm thinking 9 I, Well, 8-5, I'm happy. I think 9-2 or 9-4. Just a book I've been sitting on. Let me tell you guys something. Buy your DC keys now and everybody else, all this all new money. All Star Comics 58. Yes, All Star Comics 58. First Power Girl. Okay. Is it, she's on a cover? No. No? I don't know. So let me see the cover. It's the first appearance of Power Girl. Yes, okay, right. So yes, she this is. is the book. Yes, right, right, right. yes, yes. Okay, yes. I want to make okay. sure you're, okay. Okay, so 8-5 maybe, I don't know. I don't really know. Yep. I'll be honest with you. What am I looking at? Six five. Oh, shit, I'm way off. <laughs> that's, that's not like, are you oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> No, but I thought this book would be better. It's okay. I'm sorry. It was a I, love that. I love that. What's book. the damage? What's the damage? I love it too. But what's the damage on it? Is there? Yeah, it's got some ticks in it. Okay, I think I just sent this in now that I'm thinking about it because I wanted to get it graded and have one in the till yeah. in case I want to upgrade it. Sure. So yeah. So all right, good book to have. It's going in a copy. It's a just, DC book. Just, just let it sit, man. Yep. Right. All right. It's your one dud of the box. Well, that's my that's one like, dud of the box. Mine was, mine was we're a, like halfway mine, done. Mine was the Thundercats. <laughs> yeah. Mine was we the Thundercats. Yours is this one. Yeah. But guys, you've had one dud. I that's all you've had. Yeah. You. These are all it's incredible. Hey, whatever I do is box. Whatever <laughs> I, I do is box. Let me give myself 10 lashes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. All right. Point, uh, point one. Oh, point one. First Sam Alexander is Nova. This was a rate, a variant. Um, I, I don't even know book. what this yeah, book is, cool but variant, it's a cool variant. It's double sided. Again, this point one things just kind of fell on my lap. If it's, it's a modern, I'm hoping it's over a nine. If it's an eight five, it's fine. This is probably something I'm going to hold on and flip. I don't really know. So I point I got a good one. story for this one. All right, I'd go ahead. This book. What's the story? Yeah, no, he's so it, right interesting. St Interesting story about this book. When Otto gave it to me, I sent him a picture of it. And I was sitting with Lenny, and I said, is he fucking with me? Because this book looked like blinds. It yeah. was literally rippled from top to bottom, and it looked like a set of window shades. And Lenny's all <laughs> in front of it, and he's like, I said, ask them if they're fucking with me, because I've never <laughs> seen anything like this in my life. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this book? Right. I looked at it and I was like, it's like it's like one of those things they used to play. You wash your clothes on in the 17th century. Yeah. One of those things. I, I That's what it looked like. Being, I was like, holy shit. I remember it not being a washboard. Yeah. When, when, when we did this, I had to find 25 <laughs> books. So I had to like, okay, so I'll put in again, a lot of books for the PC, a lot of books for the school. <laughs> so. You know, we said less, you know. I know I don't want to send they less. Really no, are. dude, I'm super happy that I came back in 9.0, man. I'm good, totally. good, 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 right. And when you messaged me, you were like, "Are you really want to send this book in? And I was like, yeah. I mean, I want to keep it that way. So you're just filling the book. box out. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. All, All right. right. ASM 55 Gleason. Ooh. Um, Ooh. That first print? I don't even know. Yeah, it's, the first, yeah it's the black one. Okay. First print, but it's 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 the trade dress. Which one is it? Oh, uh, nice. You, you'll know it as soon as you see it. Oh, Yeah. We all, yeah. if it's a nine eight, if it's a nine eight, I'm claiming it. So there you go. All right, <laughs> I don't even, like I don't even remember some of this. Book it's a nine six. It's a nine six. The black cover. I don't want that kind of bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, it's what? pretty great. It's pretty what? good. I know. I'm just kidding. That's a nine four. That was a nine four. There we go. I do got to say that with that. No. With the oh, what the fuck? I'm mad. Oh, there you go, Mike. <laughs> with, with the submissions of my books that I did last week, my brother-in-law sent the same book in. He got a 9 eight. Oh, was that's, That is going to be a tough book to get in a 9-8. Really? Tough yeah, I'll book. The nine, six. I mean, this was hot. I, yeah. All right. Still I, is. That's still I think a hot Mark book. Ben actually gifted me that book. 
Oh, nice. Um, I wanted so, the chop. Yeah, well, we wanted the chop on that. But to be honest, with you, I don't even remember that book was in there. So, <laughs> all right. Rogers, Rogers. That should have been a chop. All right. Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace, Number Two. It's yep. the uh, the movie variant yep. with uh, young Anakin on it. Yes. Okay. Again, nine zero or better. You know what I mean? Nine two, nine four. So just to keep all these Star Wars books together. So nine six. Nine six. There we go. All right. There Anakin's you go. on the cover. Uh, the movie adaption. Cool book to have. Again, you guys can see where I'm going. I'm collecting all these. Just to have, because as bad as episode one is, I'm a Star Wars fan, so I appreciate. Yeah, but it was, but, yeah. you know, yeah. So it was first appearance of Darth Maul. Yeah. I mean, well, that, number one of that series is the first Darth Maul. Yeah, right, right. right. That's right. what I figured. So, yeah, so good, and we like Darth Maul. Two more. All right, two more to go. Oh, another Star Wars book. Okay. Number one. This is also the movie variant with uh, Anakin. No, it's uh, um, Qui Gon and. Uh, um, Obi Wan on Obi Wan. Obi Wan on the Yeah, there were two of those, Otto. Yeah, there, there were two of those in there. Yeah. <clears throat> it doesn't say it on there, but the the industry dictates that this is the first appearance of Darth Maul okay. on the comic. All right. But apparently CGC doesn't recognize that yet. Damn them. So. Damn them. Damn them. All right. There All right. you go. So nine point six. Very nine point six. There we go. Very All right. Look at that. Very linear. Woo! We got the oh, living nice. stuff coming, baby. Very nice. Very digging nice. it. Digging it. All right. Nice. Good job. All right. Yeah, All right. I'll take care of it. Do something. Oh, yeah. Do something. Do all the work. Last right. book. Last right. book, fellas. Last book. All right. If anybody from Diamond is watching, this is called Bubble Wrap. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's brutal. All right. Last all right. book. Okay. What the hell? Another one of the ones you just had. Okay. Episode one. As I said, first appearance of Darth Maul with uh, Qui Gon and uh, Obi Wan on the cover. Okay, Mike, you got a good memory because I don't remember. Same book. All right. Again, am I am I pushing it a nine six? Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what a way to send it home, Karate Chop! <laughs> Frank the Tank! Frank the Tank! Woo, baby, the nine eight is the way to go! <laughs> There we go, my boy. Great job. Whoo, I'm sweating. Look at that. All right, there we go. This book is staying in the I'm PC. You, buddy. I'm a firm believer that when oh. Maul shows up in one of these shows, oh. this book is going to explode. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Whew. Sick. Look at that. That's awesome. Well, now you have the one for your PC and you have the one to sell. Yeah. There you go. Oh, right, you should see my credit card bill. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, tell you, you're gonna I know that wow. feeling. <laughs> oh my god, right. that is fantastic! It's a great book, end. all right. Yep. Nine eights on each side, nine eights on each side, right? Next that, that, that was not terrible, man. The that wasn't bad, Jim. I made it out without any bruises, I can still breathe, no chops to the neck or anything. Oh my god, <laughs> right. well wow. done, well done. That was wow. excellent. That was an actually, I have to say, that's one of the best box I've seen in a while. I appreciate that. Most, most, most haven't been good. No, no, you know, I appreciate you don't it. realize that Everett's got a nice box. Yeah, well, you know, hey, he does have a nice box. Yeah, hey, now, <laughs> hey, what, 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 excuse me, uh, Woo. all right, Transformers number one, nine, two, newsstand. Thank you very much for commenting on that. For commenting on that, I appreciate it. So and oh, Mike, you God. pressed all these, and you pressed and cleaned all these. Mike, uh, so, so Lenny and I pretty much, yeah, we, we did them all. Uh, and, and again, I definitely got to give a huge shout out to Capture Collectibles and Jason. Uh, definitely, our one of our most valued partners that we have. He definitely hooks it up when it comes to CGC. Uh, got these books in there, bypassed a little bit of the line, a little bit of that VIP service. But Capture Collectibles, for those of you who don't know, also facilitates some amazing signings top-notch people nice. you want to have writing on your book and uh we could not be fortunate enough to be parted with such great people so shout out to jason capture collectibles and yes i, I did press 99 percent of those things but i wouldn't be pressing a damn thing if it was not for the obi-wan to me who is anakin lenny cerna so that that guy taught me everything i know man a couple of years ago he, he gave me a tacking iron and a spray bottle and was like fix the fucking corner of that book and i looked at him <laughs> And if not, and if not, he fixed the corner of that book. He goes, fix the corner of that book. <laughs> and, and if nothing, 
uh, Lenny and you are really great people, and I'm glad to have met you guys for yeah, sure. Yeah, so just, this has just been phenomenal. So Thank you. Um, it's been a community. real blessing, guys, meeting you guys, and it's been real. Yeah, we've got a lot of things planned coming up. Trust Absolutely. me, May, hopefully, hopefully in May I'll be, well, hopefully the next week I'll be telling you about a great announcement that we have in May. But the last thing we want to talk about, and which I think would be great for all of us, is to say I feel – that this is the end of a year, right? We shut down on May 13th. Uh, here in Connecticut, we are very fortunate to have our vaccines in place. The world is opening up. The grotto is opening up. So to me, this has been a year, okay? I've been a year of changing the three men in the basement format, meeting new people, expanding the channel. And so my highlight of this year, excuse me, has been all the things that have come out from this channel, all the friendships that we've made, <coughs> excuse me, all the channels that have grown, all the great things that have happened. I'm looking to the rest of 2021 and to 2022 to be even better. I know that there's a lot of new money in the market, but you know what? We are the veterans. We were, we were here from day one. We will stick through this. As I always say, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And you know what? We are going to rise to the top of all this. So my highlight of this year has been everybody that I have met this year and everybody that has grown in our followers and in our friendships. So that has been my highlight of this year. So that's what I'm going to pass on. So Raj, what would you think your highlight of the year would be? To me is the highlight <coughs> is realizing how amazing this community is. And one of the ways that you can see that is the AOKs that I've received throughout the year. You know, one of the AOKs, and I want to share this because there was that we jump right over the whole stack. We were gonna go right. over. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> but so this is from uh, Noah Gavril, who, if you remember back, we 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 uh, you know honored him and his dad with our Christmas show. Yep. Big fans of the show. They really really touched our hearts with the letter they had sent ever at AOK, uh, telling us how important, you know, how much they enjoyed watching our show and stuff. So he sent me these books and said sorry. Uh, it took so long to get these. Are you kidding me? You sent me an AOK. -okay. Like, he sent me this Spider Man. It, it's autographed by uh, Tom McFarland. Wow. I don't oh. have I don't have a McFarland signature. This is definitely going out to CBCS to get verified. Uh, Noah, I, and then on and with that, he threw this in as well. Radioactive right. man. That's but, freaking. That's awesome. a great book. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. But Both dude, of these. Let's that's talk awesome. about Carmen. You unboxed an ASM 300, yeah. McFarlane. Crazy. You ended up with this. Dude, things have Comic Book Karma, you guys, is real. <laughs> things happen really for reason. I truly believe this. You put stuff out in the universe, positive, negative, yeah. or indifferent, it will come Absolutely. back to you. So, you know. And so, no, and I've been, I've, I've had these for a few weeks now. I wanted to make sure I showed these live, and, and I didn't want to post them on Instagram because I really appreciate Noah and his family and all the support they give us and the AOKs. And, 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 you know, between this, uh, you know, Streetside Anthony, when he sent me that box full of Canadian snacks, you know, snacks from Canada uh, that I remember from when I was a kid visiting my relatives in Canada, that you can't buy in the United States to, uh, you know, never stop collecting. Who sent me that giant box of all those Venom books, <clears throat> just knowing me, ages. You guys saw when I opened up that Mandalorian pop with the baby Yoda, man, I, I, I lost it. Like they knew how much I wanted it. I asked them to set it aside and they sent it to me. Like, uh, you know, it, it really, you know, plus all the people that are sending me books for this charity raffle, uh, the, you know, something wrong, like all those freaking posters he oh sent us, God. and they were Look personalized, you know, like, like Everett's got the stack, stack of coverless, coverless books. Coverless Batman books. Look. I had a, a phenomenal uh, book that wow. he sent me. Then he sent me this poster that is literally exactly what I collect. And same, he, I still have Dave's posters. He sent Dave like five, you know, 11 by 17 posters. They were all like J. Scott Campbell uh, Spider-Man posters. Like, like he knew by watching our show. And I think that's what blows me away the most is the AOKs that I'm receiving are truly stuff that people know I would enjoy because they know they know us. Yep. You're watching us. We appreciate that you watch us. And because of you watching us, you understand, hey, you know, Roger would like this, mm -hmm. you know, and you put thought into it. And that completely blows me away. And I am so humbled by the fact that we have people that watch us that are willing to send me these things that are personal to me and mean 
a hell of a lot to me. And I, I hope everybody understands that. And this past year has shown that so much more. And the generosity of this 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 community is beyond what I ever thought it would be. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Frank, you want to come in, talk about maybe a uh, wrap up for your year or just something that, you know, you'd like to highlight for the year, like my favorite highlight of the year, other than a BA-12. Oh, wait a minute. This is a highlight. Too. <clears throat> oh, yes. There you uh, go. Uh, oh, oh, my God. Michael. <laughs> That's <laughs> huge. That's so huge. Dude. <laughs> huge. $40 you paid for that. $40 for one through six. Oh, God. All right. I, I used to walk right by that book. Yeah, unbelievable, time. unbelievable. So, Frank, your favorite highlight of this year, because that's what we're talking about. Like okay. The, yeah. No, no, it's, it, it's real simple, guys. Um, the way I try to live my life is is I, I the relationships I build with other people, okay? And I'm pretty reserved, believe it or not. I'm pretty reserved. So so when, you know, just getting to meet everyone in the community and being ever inviting me into his home and Roger and, you know, you know they've been to my house. So that that's really important to me. Above all, I mean, this is just paper right again. Yeah. It's, for me, it's more important the relationships with people. I, I know Roger says that all the time too, but but it's true. And I, I remember when the pandemic last March, when, when the state was in a shutdown, through the nature of my job, I still had to go to work. I still had to go to work. Yep. And it was like a walking dead. There was nothing going on, all right? And just to see that, I was able to keep in touch with everyone through this community. I mean, it really it really meant a lot. You know, the other day I was at the I was at the mall with my wife last weekend, and there was people there, and it, it was a good feeling. Good. It was a good feeling. So, right hoping for more. Thank you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dave, give me your favorite highlight of this year, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, it's yeah. Honestly, it's it's you guys. It's you guys. It's it's this whole community because <clears throat> it's uh it's it's been a pretty rough year. And, um, you know, the, it, it really has gotten me through to where, you know, you have people coming in and, and checking in on you. Hey, you, you know, you weren't in the chat or, you know, you were doing this or you're doing that. So so knowing that, I guess that level of support is is, is definitely there. Um, it, and again, you know, I always say this. It's like the, the comic books could go away tomorrow. And, uh, you know, again, I would still have these lasting friendships. We'd still have things that are in common. So it's I, I would definitely say that, you know, that's probably one of the biggest highlights. Um, and, and again, with, with this whole COVID thing, finally coming. Well, I don't want to say coming to an end. But for me, I got my first dose today. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked about it. Um, my arm is on fire right now, but it's OK. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, I mean, it, you know, I would say that that's my highlight. Cer right. Certainly, you guys, the community, everything that uh, you know, all of these fine folks have built, and uh, you know, we kind of get to take the baton and run with it. So absolutely, absolutely. So, Chris, I just you know, anything you'd like to share about one of your highlights? Right yeah, here? I, I actually have a little bit. Um, when COVID started, I, you know, as you guys know, I work like ridiculous hours, and then all of a sudden, I wasn't, and I didn't know what to do with myself. And I went on YouTube and I used to watch all your videos. I was a, such a fan of your videos in particular because I always believe that what you're doing is like almost a service to the fan culture. You're creating a hang for uh, the average collector. You're uh, most, most of us are stuck by ourselves in these little nooks and crannies of the world. You know, we have kids and we can't hang out with like other comic people. And, and you allowed us to have a hang with with like other collectors and that was a gift to me and i actually started my channel because you you because of your channel i was like well fuck if these guys are doing it these are the kind of guys i want to hang out with so i started <laughs> doing it we and, could do it too and we have yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah we do no 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 totally and what happened was i couldn't believe how quickly uh, people reached out like you reached out and gave me advice immediately. Like it was just so many great things happened, And, uh, you know, I, you know, I'm friends with so many people now, like superpower review, automatic comics, all these like Mr. Miracle, you guys, uh, just so many people. And, and it's just a newbie is like, he's one of my best friends. <laughs> you know, like, we chat all the time and it's, and it, but it, during a year where I physically haven't been in front of people, it's been a gift. It's an absolute gift. And uh, I'm I'm so lucky to have it. So that's with, with this yeah. pandemic, I feel bad for people who don't have this. Yeah, right, yeah, right. for sure. Right? You no, Rod, you're totally right. right. Oh, so right. So, Mike, you know, I know you've, you've been hanging out with us and everything like that. Can you a little bit of highlight of 
you know, your year and what you thought was something oh. good, collectible, and, and a year that was really rough. But it, it, it it's been it, it's been really crazy. I I mean, my life changed drastically. Some things for the better, some for the worse. Uh, I was a court guy for 15 years, suit and tie, cushy job, which magically disappeared in March of uh, last year. Uh, then come to find out my wife was pregnant and uh, it was looking really down. It was looking really down. Uh, I am fortunate and blessed in life, just like you guys, to have so many good people around me like Lenny, like my wife, Grace, uh, my son, Logan. He's a baby, but still, I love him. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we turned what was a, a weekend hobby for us into a way to literally make money and start a new business, which is now flourishing. Uh, you know, to come from a place where it was just, you thought everything in the world was going to go wrong to see some bright things that could come out of it. I truly learned what it was to see in the silver lining and things. So I'm eternally grateful to you guys. Of course, meeting you guys was just awesome. Uh, the opportunity to be brought into this community, to meet some of the folks we have, uncle Frank, uh, Jim O'Shea and everyone else connected to the three MIB family. You guys have been nothing but amazing to us. Absolutely love you guys. Couldn't be a appreciated more i am looking forward how we're coming to the grotto and drinking in person you know that's what it's gonna happen it really is me too and 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 i know you guys are gonna do huge things bro you guys are gonna do huge things uh so a big shout out to lenny shout out to spineworks comics captured collectibles and of course three men in the basement you guys are just fucking amazing i could not be happier or more proud to have you guys as friends Thank you very much. We appreciate that. We appreciate that. You know, this has been great and all the comments and stuff like that. But let me tell you something. We're not done with comics. I mean, we're not done. Roger's got some stuff that he's got. Roger's got a stack. I got a stack of shit, too. All right, here we go. All right. So this is the last week and a half. All right. So it's all the future state books he's trying to sell. Yeah, right. right. So there this go. is the last week and a half just uh, online sales. This is not like my weekly reads or anything like that. Yeah, I didn't put it. This is this is a purely speculation stack. Lock. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. There you go. A spec stack. Spec stack. There you go. Yeah. All right. So we ready? We going? We're, we're going. Ready? We're going. Let's do it. Right. First one, Captain America Falcon one sixty eight. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. First appearance of Baron Helmet Zemo. Oh, okay. There we go. Ro Raj, till today. There we go. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Uncle Frank. Uncle Frank. What does Frank. that go for now? That's a, yeah. that's not a cheap yeah. book anymore. Yeah, you got one yeah. job, Frank. Uh, yeah. Look at this right here. Right here. <laughs> Venom. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, so you know. Oh my Vanna White. <laughs> yeah, there we go. See? Uh, <laughs> THD. Next one is oh, Roger's God, pulling the star. First appearance of the natural. Ooh, nice. Don't know anything about that book, but okay. This book has seen a bump since the release of the show. It has. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm sensing a theme here. Yeah. Yeah. Captain America 323. First appearance of John Walker Super Patriot. Oh, I, I need that book. Is that a Mike Zek cover? It looks like it. Like it really that. is, yeah. Yeah, I don't have to look any further. Possibly the greatest uh, cover artist of the 80s. Yeah. I'm just throwing it out there. 100%. I agree with you. Captain America yeah. 354, first appearance of U.S. agent. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, I am nice. definitely sent. I am definitely sensing a theme here. Did man. you guys see that toy leak that happened today? There's a toy leak. Oh, here he goes. Oh, here Captain we go. Captain America. The best feet in the business. The best feet in the business. Oh. The first appearance oh, of Ricky Barnes. <laughs> First uh, who knew that book would be worth more than a cent? Wow. First appearance of Ricky Barnes. Oh, okay. Those legs are like 16 feet tall. Oh, my God. All right. Oh. Captain America 3. Right? First appearance of Joaquin Taurus, the new Falcon. Really? Yeah. Well, we have to make a trade. Nice. <laughs> Look at this guy. That book was on pressable defects, I think, right? This was on the auction. It was yeah, on the auction. Right? Okay. So I bought these probably... I probably pay for all of them a week before the first Winter Soldier. Really? Talk about your foresight. And, uh, oh, look at this oh, guy. Oh, oh, balls. Look at this. <laughs> first, Sam Wilson as Captain America. Nice. Have one. What's better than one but two? two you want to Why not buy two at twice the price? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why do you have two? Because you want to read it more than once. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, Infinite point. Crisis number five. That's first Blue Beetle. Uh, Reyes is Blue Beetle. Yep. Very nice. 
and a George Perez cover. George, George Perez I read that run. Yes. That's a that's great George, run. Yeah. Did anybody else? I read that run. That is a great. That was good. Absolutely random in this yeah. speculation, but I yeah. love this cover. It's one of my favorite covers to come out on the last two years. What Black Cotton number one, and it's a uh, one of like two fifty. And if you look at that cover, bring it a little closer to the camera. If you're not reading Black Cotton, the, uh, the the premise behind Black Cotton is it's a world as if the white people oh, wow. are minority. See me. Yes. Okay. So you see the cops and you see the white woman holding the sign that says, see me. Yep. Very I'll buy that tomorrow. Absolutely love yep. this cover. When I saw it, I could not get it fast enough. Moon Knight number one. I'm going to be honest with you. I was drunk. Someone was specking on it. I don't know why. <laughs> That's uh, an annual, uh, annual number one. Annual number one. I don't, cool, I don't know that's a cool I'm cover. It. It's yeah, it's an, it's it's and it's a very that's the no, very cover. That. Yeah, uh, Modoc and Modoc, Red Skull, Doc yeah, Ock. Yeah, but thanks uh, for being honest about that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah really. it's one of those nights that someone <laughs> we've all like, been there. It, so I bought it. And I don't know he could be like, I'm smarter than you. I'm buying this, but he's like, no, it's not the game at all. This is the first appearance of Illuminati. I have this one. These are shockingly cheap at nine eight right now. I, yeah. I think they're undervalued. Like you should, you, we should all be buying nine yeah. eights. We got right. first appearance of Ronan. Really? Oh, cool. There you go, man. You're on a tear. Yeah. Nice. Oh, Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. oh my god, that's stupid money. Would, I did not. These, but this the reason I went through these is because they're not expensive right now. Right. Okay. Hey, I trust you. Man. Who right. am I to judge? First oh, and Ronan. if you have, there you go, another Ronan. Nice. What's the difference between this one and the other one? This is uh, first appearance of Ronan. That's, I believe, when uh, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, Burton, Clint Burton, takes over as Ronan. Ah, gotcha. uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Look at the big brains on this guy. Jeez. Marvel <laughs> Point One. Sam is <laughs> number four. Oh, I'm totally speaking on this one. You were yeah, you weren't kidding when you said this is a spec stack. Jeez. Yeah, those are cheap. Right. Those are cheap, uh raw. They're they're reasonable. Scarlet Witch nice. number two, the first appearance of Lore. Ooh. Who the right. fuck's That's Lore? Lore yeah, exactly. He was in Star Trek. Witch, Scarlet Witch's nemesis. <laughs> he almost has the power. So she almost has the same powers as Scarlet Witch, but can never defeat her. Chris, you, you got uh, that Star Wars dig right there? Lore. Yes, I did. It was excellent. <laughs> All right, yeah. Infinity, first Monica Rambeau as Spectrum. Oh. Oh, okay. look at this guy. Oh. That's, a, that's a great cover. Another copy of this? <laughs> I, I, have the, see that? I have that. <laughs> he just I, got one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have the 9-8. Yeah. I have one out with E-Rod right now, and I have this one. <laughs> this, this guy. Congratulations. This guy yeah, right here. Greg? That was No, I, I bought that with a bunch of the Captain Marvels from... Uh, King of the Golden uh, State on an auction. Really? Yeah. yeah see. Can't go wrong with a Dino Box. Oh, oh, nice. Love that. Yeah, I love and that. I oh, yeah. Blaine VCJ. Oh, here you go, Chris. Uh oh. Sorry. Okay. G.I. Joe Transformers. Okay. Yeah. I got one, two number yeah. one. I'll be a lot, I though. Two, three, and then two number fours. So the whole set of. Oh, my God. It's a mini. Not enough. Not enough. How about another set? Oh, 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 How about another set? Is that enough? That's enough. <laughs> I think you're good. <laughs> this set I'm old is definitely in better condition. These are, all Those are awesome. Less than these are probably awesome sergeants. Yeah. You know, it's There's an issue two has a first appearance. I can't recall right now what it is, but yeah. issue two is one to grab. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. Wait. Let's buy a slab of number one. Nice. <laughs> And I blame you. Yes, I blame you one hundred percent. I'm okay with that. You'll thank me in a couple of years. Yeah, right, right. No, you will. You'll thank. Actually, you'll thank me in six months. So I wasn't kidding yeah. when I said I had a, a stack of specs. That is unbelievable. Nice. That, was, that was quite the stack. That was the stack. That's the stack. Chris, you got stuff you want to show off too? I do. Yeah, I know. I got some stuff in the last week. So. Uh, oh, nice. So not, not, not as much as Roger. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't as drunk this week, so I didn't buy as much. <laughs> well, that was two weeks ago I was drunk. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so I uh, picked up uh, a really high grade copy of issue two eleven. Uh, the first Marauders. Uh, I just saw it. and I'm like, hell yeah! Um, and that book, by the way, this book went from like eight. I, I bought a nine eight uh, four months ago for sixty dollars Canadian. Which is like about fourteen dollars your money, 
And uh, <laughs> now nine eighths, I think, are about two fifty. Um, Whoa. I bought this just because why not? First appearance yep. of Union Jack. I don't know oh, where God. that's yep. going, but oh, it, it was. Like, it's super. Exactly. That, that, it's super I got the grade. same thing. It's great, right? It's yeah. Yep. I just I saw it in high grade. But I think the um, Chris. I think sorry? the issue before is actually his first appearance, and that's oh. his first appearance in custom. But I picked up both of them as well, so I think they're fantastic. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, I also picked up uh, uh, issue two fifty six of X Men. It's uh, Psylocke becomes uh, another version of Psylocke. I just forget. Yeah. I've you know I've had drinks. Um, <laughs> this is a book I really believe that nobody's paying attention to. Um, it's the uh, first appearance of the Sam Jackson Nick Fury. Really? Okay. And this book's like I got this for eight dollars. It's eight dollars. It's like, but it's this. It's like a different version. I don't know. Maybe I'm just stretching, but I don't care. I love this no, book. Right? Yeah, yeah. And this is another one that I think uh, I almost don't want to show it to people because I want to buy more. But I bought a ton of these. <laughs> so Franklin Richards, uh, we can all agree. Well, we all know is probably inevitably going to hit the MCU at some point. Yep. Uh, it's the son of Reed Richards and Sue Storm. Right, uh, but he, but he, also, he also becomes something at one point. He becomes a character yeah. named Avatar, and that's yeah. his first appearance as Avatar, yep. 245. Yep. About six bucks each. And they're like, these are like nine, eight candidates. Mm -hmm. um, I picked up uh, a copy of uh, First Quasar. Uh, the only reason it was super high grade, so I picked it up. I, I have a bunch of these. I, I believe in Quasar big time. Uh, yeah. I pick, and Thunderbolts with uh, Falco's Winter Soldier. Please oh, get your Thunderbolts now. These are yeah. both 9 8 candidates, too. I have a 9 6 right now. I'm hoping to get a 9 8. A few months. But I, I couldn't agree. Like, I couldn't tell you buy this book. It's, uh, I have a feeling General Ross is going to show up pretty soon in uh, this next show. Um, I picked up uh, a Bloodstone number one this week. Oh, oh. I have a number of these. Uh, I believe in this character massively. Uh, I couldn't uh, recommend it more highly, uh, and that's that. So I have a couple going to CGC at the moment, and I have a nine eight already. Uh, and this is a this was the uh, find of the week, and I have two more after this. But uh, this is the find of the week. I literally just stumbled on it. You know, you stumble on a book, and it's an yeah, opportunity right. moment. And it was a uh, New Mutants oh, ninety eight. Oh. And I I think this is going to come back. Between a nine four and a nine six. How do you stumble upon? Were you digging in a long box and it just happened? No, it was. Uh, I was. I was talking to a local dealer, uh, and he's like, "Hey, I got a new collection in," and and he pulled that out, and I'm like, "I don't have one of those," and I actually don't. I don't have a New Mutants ninety eight, and he, which is crazy. And he goes, uh, he flat out just goes, uh, "Well, what do you want to pay for it?" And I threw him a price, which was about a third of what it's going for right now in the grade. And he just goes, yeah, sure. And he just threw it in. I'm like, I was just shocked. And so that's why I own it. And I got two more here. So um, this is a book that I don't want anyone to, I'm just going to throw it out because I have plenty of them now. But uh, uh, this is a book that I think everyone should get is the yeah. first Moira McTaggart. Uh, Moira McTaggart, I have this sneaking suspicion it's going to be a massive part of the MCU X-Men. Okay. And this book is still fairly reasonable. It is. Uh, of all the books in, in the local yeah. action, yes, that's very and it, and, and it really – and she's a great character, and there's so much, like, modern history to her that they can yeah. play off of in the movies. So I really recommend this book. So I had to grab this this week. And this is, this is my – and you guys actually know about this book because I meant – I asked you – so I did a trade about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Oh, yeah. uh, and you guys know about this. And I got it the ghost. other day. Oh. This, is a, this is a ghost of a book. So this is the first appearance of Death's Head, um, who I love. I actually love that character. I, I would love to see him show up in the MCU. I don't know if that's realistic, but I don't care. Um, but this <laughs> book is inc incredibly hard to get. And oddly enough, you know when you go looking for a book, all of a sudden, like a whole bunch pop up. So I bought this, and then out of the blue at like four in the morning, I was on eBay, and I picked one up, another copy in, oh my in, God! in higher grade for $40. Oh my wow. God. So I was like, what? Like in, 
So this this copy here is probably like a seven oh, and uh, the one I picked up is probably in this uh, probably an eight oh, and I was yeah. very. I, I still have to get them graded, obviously, but you know CGC are a bunch of assholes at the moment, so who knows <laughs> what'll happen. But uh, but anyway, that that's that's. The hey, Chris, Chris, we know a guy. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Speaking, of Speaking of knowing a guy, we got a guy Speaking showing up at last call. I might know a guy. Yeah, he shows up at last call. Look at this guy. Look at I'll guy. send him to you, Michael. Oh, there you oh, go. You know, oddly enough, hey oddly guys. enough, I, oh, here we go. The brother. The brother's here. The silk screen. Hey, nice shirt there, Dave. Yeah, hey, see, I'm, I know how to rep. Silk screener <laughs> to the stars. What's up, Dave? Hey, how you guys doing? <laughs> We're doing good, man. Welcome to the grotto. Good to see you. I know I'm a, I'm a little late, but hey, yeah, better late than ever. You're the guy that shows up at like last call and picks up all the chicks because everybody else is so banged up. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I, know you're, yeah. I get all the sloppy seconds. <laughs> no, 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 that's it. You're the one sober one. You're like, yeah, come on, we'll go back to my house. You know, so. What's up, good to see you, man. How are you? Yeah, you guys look good in your shirts. No, we yeah, like yeah. this, right? Hey, love and, it. And we're doing pre-orders for these new shirts by the Green O. Yeah, you like uh, you like all the colors. I tried to get you each each one. Yeah, yeah. Would, would it be these shirts that you're talking about? You, got, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, and you gotta get Dave his. You know, send Dave his. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got two of them. I got a man Yes. Don't, uh, Otto, don't, don't wear them all and sweat in them all before you send them to Dave. Oh, I, I would have sweated my ass off tonight with all these karate no. chops, but I uh, <laughs> made sure I kept two more on yeah. the side. Didn't yeah. bring them here. Dave, we're, we're, we're talking about recent pickups and things like that. You got any things you picked up lately or what? Actually, I, know, I picked Roger, I know it's your LCS, not Frank's, mine, or Rogers. It's your actually LCS. I picked it. I picked this up earlier today. Oh, oh my god, look at this guy. Oh. I like that. out of nowhere. I mean that's okay. Oh. <laughs> well, the nine. I heard somewhere. I heard the that's nine six is the new nine eight. That is absolutely true. <laughs> yeah, some guy was saying that. You know, it's yeah, a piece of shit. Did you that? Or that, how did you purchase that? <laughs> I got that at uh, Richie's Comics earlier oh, today. Nice. Cabana, Richie's nice. Comic Cabana. Yeah, Richie's Cabana. You were there today, or? Yeah. Yep. Oh, actually, I was no. Actually, was here yesterday because I got my uh, first COVID shot at a place in Water uh, Waterbury, and it yeah, turned out it was right. like two blocks away from uh, Richie's. So I'm like, hey, oh, I'm, I'm in the neighborhood. I might as well go take a look. Nice. Yeah, you're like I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. All right. Nice. What other things have you been thinking of? Actually, I have a question for Michael. Uh, these are two of the slabs that uh, that he he did for me. He uh, pressed and slabbed, sent to CGC. So this was a good one. Um, that Michael did, and then the other one is this Avengers. Ooh, nice. But, okay. But my question to Mike, Michael, is why did I get a fat slab? This looks like it's it's designed for like a yeah, like a square, like a square bomb. bomb. Yes. Yeah, huge. So you so it's a, but it's not a square yeah, bomb. So it's a, it's a slightly thicker book that angle. So you do occasionally get those in a thicker case. Okay. My mine has the same case. Is it hit or yes, it's not unusual. Uh, some of them come in the thinner one, some of them come in the thicker, depending on who's uh grading it. Uh no. Uh I, I my mine came in that. Oh my newer copy. My older copy that I bought slab was in the thin one, but it looked like it was ten pounds of shit in a five pound bag. So I oh, really? think it's kind of figured with the uh, larger page books like, put to put them in the thicker cases only made sense. Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. Well, that, that was my when I saw I you. Mean, I gave enough shit about this. with the uh, new rings and everything else. Wow, that's pretty wild. So they've got some. New I know. Here, you know, Dave. How many how many channels have you silk screened for? I mean, everybody like. Have you just are you just cornered the market? I mean, <laughs> yeah, no. When you guys when you guys are talking about the uh, the you know what what was good for this year and what what your you know the the kind of the shit year was, um, I've gotten to know a lot of a lot of the comic book guys. You know, I'm I've been collecting comics for so long and doing search for like YouTube guys and all the different community uh, comic book guys. It, it, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you guys gave me some work, which was good. I mean, business wise, it was a real shit year for me. So being able to, uh, 
do stuff for the community and you know get some get some work out of it was real nice so i'm definitely appreciative i can't wait to see the vancouver comic junkie t-shirts or the spine works t-shirts i mean that's got to be in the works too so. yeah, they are actually in the works they are in the works I love, it. I love it. I love it. So yeah, I mean, I think yeah, Dream, yeah. Dreams of, coming. Dreams of August Comics was like that. I think the the most recent one that I did. Oh, those um, came out great. Johnny and uh, you know uh, J two. Those those guys are those guys are awesome. Yeah. Um, again, anybody I've worked with has just been amazing. And like I said, if I get to, you know, I'm, I'm at work anyway, and I'm printing some T-shirts for uh, for the comic guys. It's uh, you know makes uh, makes things a lot lot nicer. You know, it's a lot of yeah, fun and I, and I think, to be part of it. Think, I think what you need to know is like like the aftermath of you making shirts for people is the incredible things that everybody says about you. you know, when yeah. they when they talk about how awesome of a person you are to work with, uh, how your how awesome your customer service is, that you're such a nice guy. How could you be related to Roger? How could you be related to Roger? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten that question. Nobody said. Are you, well, sure I, you guys are, are related? Are those two really brothers? <laughs> you're so opposite. Well, I, mean, I mean, even when you're like seeing us in person, people don't realize. I yeah. mean, he's short. He's got dark hair, brown yeah, right. eyes, long curly he's hair. He's so much younger, too. So yeah. much younger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he yeah, he's about a hundred pounds kidding. heavier and about uh, <laughs> right. you know, eight inches taller, but he still he calls me his little brother. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> so I think it's important that you know when you think about the things that are good for the past year is everybody that you're doing teachers, the reason you keep getting business is because you've done such a phenomenal job and people appreciate it. Right. It's just been great. Well, yeah, that's awesome. I appreciate that. That's a, uh, that's good to know. I'm glad everybody's, you know, happy with their st stuff. Cause that's always important to me that when you guys get the stuff, it's uh, you guys are happy with it. And, um, you know, and, uh, yeah, you guys are happy and you're, you're, you're telling each other about me and it's, it's cool watching, you know, you got, they were in my shirt, and you got, you know, the, the two big guys were wearing the other box. ones. Did you catch that? <laughs> when were you wearing that one? I, I wore it last night on Lord, so I had to rock the green O because you know, <laughs> the green to the stars is everywhere. So, <laughs> so I, Dave, I want to know whose LCS was it first? Was it yours or Rob? Wow, it was one hundred percent his. It was a hundred. Oh, it was mine. Excuse it me, was mine for. Mine, it was mine for 20 years before Roger ever went right, in there. Roger I bought a book up. from there. <laughs> yeah. Roger shows up. You know, Jesus, you know. And then oh, Pat's and then I, was, I, was, I was David's brother for fucking five years. Oh, you really were until I actually made it. It's unbelievable. And it's so funny. Oh, I know. You're <laughs> Dave's brother. I'm like, what the hell? I have a right. name, you know. But it's, it's so funny that all of us would end, would end up there without really, like, knowing each other. Like, Frank, Frank and I went to high school together. Frank went to high school with my brother. Frank, do you know that you, you got... Brett signatures back in the day, like Brett has an Brett has an eidetic memory. He doesn't forget things. You guys were friends back in high school, and there were signatures at the bookie that you got for Brett. And when Brett, and he's going to tell you this, you don't even remember, do you? I don't remember. I mean, but Brett does. Brett doesn't forget nothing. My brother Brett don't forget nothing. Let me tell you, that's He'll a funny story. I forgot to tell you. That. So yeah, so this little LCS that this you know seventy two plus year old yeah, man runs miserable. is like the facilitator of all this, who could care less about his books. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, is you need Prozac to go through the books. Like I can't even go oh, in there yeah. because you, it's just unbelievable, you guys. And you got to look through every book. What Johnny Rosado's in the house. Yeah. What's up, brother? What's up, Johnny? Good to see you, brother. Um, you know, Dream of August is just yeah. doing fantastic I, things. I, I, I wish everybody had at least just one experience going through our LCS. Yes, my God. Just to understand what we mean by you got to go through a stack of, of boxes and you're going through as X-Men, all of a sudden there's a Spider-Man, and all of a right. sudden there's a Thor. Right, the modern bronze. <laughs> yeah. Frank, you know. And, Frank's you, know books, you. and you could go right. there two days later, and that same oh, box yeah. is going to have completely different books in there. Yes, <laughs> right, Frank, come here. Frank can tell the story, because Frank spends time there. I need Prozac. You know, yeah. Pat shows up. Pat's got his nemesis there, so. All right. Arthur buys collections all the time. All the time. Because he, the guy's pennies on the dollar. Yeah. Yeah. So he he, he, he takes them, some, and he bags them for them. And then he says, if I'm there, Frank, I need help with the car. Pick one button. Boom. Right here. Look at hey. This. Wow. That's a big one. It's like a monk, a blessing and a curse, Pat says. I can't believe it. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this guy. Wow. This is this is the LCS. This is the part of the LCS that we don't get to see. because. And I asked him, what do you want for it? He gave me the price. 
Normally, I have fun with him. I had gone like, no, here you go. Yeah, yeah right. Let's throw the money. Let's throw the money. I threw the money at him, and I ran out. Has no idea what he's got. So there's a collection. That, uh, guys, we were almost at a long. We're almost two hours and fifteen minutes. But you guys got to hear this. He bought a collection of Doberade goodness, right? Huge, huge books. I mean, we're talking uh, FF ASMs. This guy's initials were LM, and on the back of all these beautiful Silver Age books was this crayon that said LW, uh, right? Uh, so we don't even know what these books are come back. If you look at them in, a, in the bags, you're just like, oh my God, look at this. And it's got this LW written on the back. It's so depressing. It's so depressing, uh, man. Is there a way to get that? Because that's wax. Is There must be a way to get that off. I don't know. We're going to find out if Mike can do that. So we're going to find out. Let's give it a shout. We'll light it up on fire. Yeah, yeah right, right. <laughs> yes, but uh, Shorefox Birdie got his FF48 <laughs> with the LW on the back, man. It was just, I, it was like early FFs. And I'm pulling wow. these books up. Like, oh, you guys don't miss those. But this guy, this guy has no idea what he has because, like he said, all of a sudden the kid who works for him, who, who's just a doink. Oh, says to him, re says he's nice to him, guy. Probably no, probably nice. was a great guy. <laughs> they don't work well together. Like they, like one's expecting the other. Like you would think, you would think when they spent all day together, they would talk to each other. Yeah, right, they don't. Right. So finally, the old man listens to Broly when when he tells him, "Go get whatever you have." Remember, Star Wars. Uh, that's when Broly first appears on the sofa. Like you've yeah. had this in your basement the whole time, and I knew it. I said, "I am walking above in Ahsoka." <laughs> There is an Ahsoka down there. Uh, uh, yeah. you know, all of a sudden. That's why I got my Clone Wars number two. I'm yes. only because I just brought these up from downstairs. I got my Clone Wars number two. I'm like, right. what the it's hell? Not Michael has it. Yeah, Michael has it. Jesus. <laughs> but Dave, you got to agree with this on on our on, 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 the, on your LCS, right? Dave. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Those guys, everything you're oh, saying is is, God, is right on. That place is right. insane. Mike, you were there, and Dave has been there twice. Yeah. How about how about the first appearance? Hey, oh remember that, God. Dave? Remember yeah, the first? The first, the first. That book, when I pulled out the book, it was a Star Wars book, and it said first appearance, and there was an arrow pointing. pointing <laughs> the I, I, I was the time to figure out who the character was. I was on the floor laughing so hard. Oh my God. I never in a million years expected to see that. And I looked at Roger and I was like, are you kidding me right now? Right. The first appearance of that guy. First appearance like, of I wouldn't say that to CGC yeah. just to have any case, man. You know? oh, wow. I got to ask, how many shops do you have within an hour of you? We have quite a few. 300. No. <laughs> no, we probably have at least six, right? More than within that. Within an hour? Maybe, maybe eight. Eight, I got, eight, I got, a, I got a lot too. I got, a, I got. A yeah, lot you got, you two seaboard guys. You have so many shops out there. It's crazy. Yeah, what about you, Chris? Come visit. Yeah. Uh, I mean, worth going to like three. Really? It's, but, but, yeah, but there, I mean, there's others, but right. But yeah. Tom Rudan buys up everything. So what are you gonna do? Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, but I, I you know, it's Rudan has got the money. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, oh my god! All right, guys. Yeah. Two hours and fifteen minutes. Yeah, this has been a freaking this blast. This has been a guys. blast. Very Gary right, throwing out some heat. Say goodbye. So right. we're gonna wrap up. Uh, with us over Mike, here. is there anything you'd like to say before we log off? Tell us who you are, where you can find us, what your deal is. Frozen. I am Michael Raffaello, no, no. co-owner of Spineworks Comics. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Spineworks Comics. Michael Raphael Comics. I'm in New York. We have an office in Kissimmee, Florida. Uh, and I just want to say thank you to you guys, Three Men in the Basement, Uncle Frank, everyone for just being awesome, letting us be a part of this, making me feel like a part of the family. And uh, I hope everybody has the best things. Happy hunting, happy collecting, and happy life for everybody. Awesome. 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 Awesome, man. Great to, great to meet you and, and, and not just make you feel like part of the family. You are part of the family. Absolutely. Brother. Just been a great time. Just been a great time. Chris. I you're appreciate it. You buy comic books. You're a collector. I, you're the I, best I do, yeah. You, buddy. you really are. I'm what? Sorry, can you say that again? You're the best kept secret on YouTube. You know, <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I'm going to be on a show with two of the best kept secrets on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, right, Super Power Review. Uh, yeah. I'll be on Super Power Review tomorrow uh, for a show. I think it's at three Eastern. Um, I could be wrong on that, but it's around that time with automatic comics. Have you guys seen automatic comics? Um, yep. That dude is on fire. 
Uh, okay. Check that guy out. He gets it. He just gets it. And uh, I love him. Ryan, his name is. Anyway, I'm going to be on the show tomorrow. Um, and in about, I have a lot of, I have about seven, eight boxes of CGC books, eight twenty-five oh. boxes com- coming back in the next two oh. months. So okay. uh, it's going to be busy. It's going to get start getting busy on my channel. Oh, yeah, we love it. We love it. Yeah, Absolutely. which I'll probably have you guys on for a few of them. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah, All right. no, uh, it's some good stuff. You for sure. Yeah, All but right. I love this channel, guys. I love you guys. Thanks, Thanks, man. man. We appreciate, appreciate it. We're so happy you're here sure. today, man. Yeah. Yeah. Putting the grotto yeah. is just a highlight, man. I'm uh, so ecstatic uh, right now. Uncle Frank, what do you got going on? Well, uh, I have a bunch of different submissions out. Some some are with Michael. Some of them I do on my own, as you know. Everett and I, we're trying to put together another 25 boxes. Hopefully, it'll be out in the next yep, few weeks. Absolutely. And uh, if you want to follow me at Uncle Frank's Comics, okay? I try to play good music. Uh, yes. Thank you. I never take this for granted. It does. Yep, okay? Absolutely. So thank absolutely. you for having me, guys. All right. The one, silk, of my, one of my favorite people right here. Yeah, one they, of my favorite people. Boom. The Thank silk you. screening to the stars, aka the brother. The Dave, brother. you got so many names. You got so many bylaw <laughs> names. It's unbelievable. Tell us who you are. I know. I, I, I get I get confused myself. <laughs> <laughs> like my wife and daughter call me Dave, and I don't even turn around anymore because I'm not sure <laughs> if that's, that's me. <laughs> silk screening to the stars. Where can they find you, Dave? If they need T-shirts or anything like that. Yeah, I'm on I'm on IG, uh, Ooh, you know IG. the Greeno Instagram, and uh, oh. yeah, I mean you 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 can find me in all all the Instagram. I mean, contact Roger Auto, you know they'll they'll send you our, send you my way, and um, yeah, and again, thanks again for every every all the support that I get from from you guys. Um, I'm actually heading down to uh, Sarge's tomorrow, so hopefully I'll find some oh, good stuff there down there. Go. Oh, he's got a Batman Avengers 12 for sale. You yeah, no, he does not. No, he does not. <laughs> Stay away from that stuff. So Yeah. No, I'll have to, I'll have to go basement. take a look. Dave, there's nothing in the basement. You don't need to go there. So, <laughs> all right. And it was uh it was it was my it was it was actually my wife's idea. Her birthday was yesterday, and I was like, What do you want to do for uh you know fun getaway? She goes, I want to go down to Mystic, which is the shoreline here in Connecticut. And she goes, and we can stop at Sarge's if you want. I'm like, all right, oh, whatever you yeah. want to do, dear. I'm uh... <laughs> whatever you want to do. That's fine. That's fine. Unbelievable. <laughs> Tell Joe we said hi. Have fun in that basement, man. Because there's yeah four things to find in that basement. Uh the executive producer, Dave, in a new mother effing cave. Dave, what do you got going on, brother? Good to see you, man. We had a blast with you tonight, man. I'm so happy you're here. Yeah, no, it was a good one. Um, I'm going to try and survive this first dose of the vaccine. My arm is on fucking fire right now. And I'm crashing like, like I'm going over a waterfall right now. That's what I feel wow. like. But uh, no, I, I'm uh, I'm stoked to be here, guys. Uh, definitely a, a good one. Got some amazing grades. So shout out to Fineworks, Lenny, Michael. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. A fun one. Awesome. To close, my good friend, Captain Stubing, what would yes. you like to say? So, guys, <laughs> listen, we're 10 away from 2,500 subs. So, please, swear, get us a 2,500. We have all this shit we're sitting on that we want to give away. Oh, my God, all right? so much stuff. Uh, be on the lookout. Probably about a week from now is when the uh, charity raffle will go live. I got a lot of people that said, I just sent you some stuff, so I need to wait for all that stuff to come in before we go live. And be on the lookout. 100% of the proceeds or 100% of the money, not proceeds because we're paying for the shipping. So 100% of the money collected is going towards uh, buying Legos for uh, children at the pediatric cancer at Sloan Kettering. And uh, this has been great. Uh, I appreciate everybody that was here tonight, our guests, you know, uh, you guys, Uncle Frank. This has just been a phenomenal year uh, with all the crap that was happening. This, uh, you know, this what we do here in this community has been an absolute way for us to forget about all the crap outside and have a great time. I appreciate all the people watching. I appreciate all the people that support us. And I appreciate all my brothers here on Three Men in the Basement. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very much. So that being said, pre-recorded videos I'll be at, will be at CliffsCon on Sunday. Uh, we got lots of things going on. You know, hopefully I will have a huge announcement for you guys in one week. Keep the month of May open. Maybe the weekend after we Mother's Day. We will have a huge announcement. Yes, we, we, will have, we have multiple huge yeah, announcements. Apparently, yeah. clearly everyone's got an announcement. It doesn't involve three well, in the basement. 
I haven't really told them yet. It's yeah. all up in my crazy mind. So, yes. There's a so, surgery I, coming. Yes, that's right, right. What I would like to say is the weekend after Mother's Day, keep it open. That being said, uh, sub up, 2,500 subscriber giveaway. Yeah. Do all those right things. Check out all our videos. We appreciate every single one of you guys. Michael Raphael, the brother, Vancouver Comic Junkies, all the guys that couldn't make us. You guys know the channels that we follow. It's been a great night. Get it over to awesome. Barry Gary's auction. Buy some stuff. We are three men in the basement. I am Everton Dave in the cave. Roger Levesque. Uncle Frank. Vancouver Comic Junkies. Michael Raphael. We are out. Peace. Good night, Canada. <laughs>